you clear of that area. Oh, blimey. Oh, crikey, bright light. Yeah, it's all sunny out there. And I'm stuck in here. I'm in a bit of a mess. Yeah, we've been making shutters that we have and doors and what have you. In fact, we've got some to deliver over here. These old, uh, well, barn doors. A pair of them, one with a pedestrian door that goes in the middle as well. Also, also been making these shutters. They already have the braces installed. They are. But I've been making videos. I've been doing all sorts of stuff. And unfortunately, it creates a mess. Yes, I've been making a mess. And such, we need to clear the mess. That's what we're going to do in this video. What I'm talking to you, we are going to clear this flipping workshop. All right? And talk about woodworking, I reckon. That's what we'll do. Yeah, it's a bit of a random one, you could say. But it is. Got no one watching yet, but you know, maybe if we're lucky. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to myself. It won't be the first time, though. No. I found a push stick, yeah. So we'll put the push stick where it belongs in its push stick uh, space. There was another push stick here as well. Oh, another one, yeah. Another push stick there, okay. You can never have too many push sticks. It's a bit like uh, how to put it. What, what have you found? She's found a boomerang. Hang on. Will my boomerang come back? I know it does. Yeah, because I made it. Yeah, it does come back. I'll play with that later. <laughs> well, over here, I have a random door that we, we are currently altering to fit into our random uh, little studio space, which just happens to be through here. And we're getting there with it. We've got to put some leather con behind down now. But uh, yeah, and we've got to finish off our worktop. So I've got the units up with little sand boards on. I've got to put the sockets on the ceiling for the lights. And I think it's sounding a little bit better in there now, not quite so echoey. And I did re I did record a little video in here where it was, um, how to put it, really echoey. I mean, that was terrible. But we've got sand boards over there and sand boards on the ceiling. And I've got this one over here, which is a green screen. It's going to double up. It, uh, it turns around. It's a fluffy bit on the back of there. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the fluffy bit on the back there? Yeah, so that's also a signboard. And we've got these signboards on. <laughs> just screwed up the front of these cabinets, which I painted the doors on because I actually stole these out of the workshop. <laughs> so we've got some cupboards here that we, we, we were literally full of paint and stuff. And I thought, what do I put on this on this worktop here? Because basically, we're, we're trying to create this space, right, for recording videos and stuff in. Uh, we won't spend money because we ain't got a lot of money, you see. So, yeah, well, what do we use? Well, we've been using wood from our pallets that we've been collecting. We had loads of chipboard that we'd um, ripped out of it, uh, the, the space here before. So I've reused all that on the on the, on this worktop here. And then I mean, <laughs> it's stuck, look, there's some decoupage on the top. So I'm waiting for that to dry fully now, you see. So I've put a little edge on it as well. And we've got some little trims on the back there. And I've got a trim and scribe in the back, trim on the back there. And then we've got some um, like clear lacquer that's going to go on top of that a few coats just to... Hard enough, but I think it'll work. If it doesn't, we'll just have to try something else, won't we? You know? So this is going to be uh, a space where I can have the overhead cameras and stuff, because we put the rail up here, up the top here, right, all the way along, and uh, we'll have overhead cameras. We've got a big laser's going to go there. Little laser's going to go there. Computer's going to go about air, I think. And then this is going to be like a little workshop area of voices and magnetic holders for the screwdrivers and stuff like that. Because we're going to pull shit apart, you see. And maybe we might even fix shit. I don't know. Try. <laughs> Probably a bit's left over. That's what usually happens. And this place there, Cal, I did um, very kindly help clear it out the other day. But it's getting to a bit of a shithole again, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> That's how it goes, isn't it, eh? That's how it goes. Now, we've got a compressor up there. But I've got a bit, another compressor in the barn over there, which I might bring in here instead, actually. Or I might use the workshop compressor uh, and plumb it into here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Either way, I don't want to hear it. Done. Because you know what happens, don't you? Every time you record the video, or you're in the middle of recording the video, the compressor will start. Yeah, it's noisy. Oh, oh she, look at her down there. She's on her hands and knees. Where's your dust mask, darling? You breathe, and got, oh, look at that old Wally dog as well. There's a Wally dog. Yeah, so I've got, I've, got, I've got to put my tools away. Yeah, that's what we've got to do. Hello there, everybody. I hope everybody's well. Yeah, did he, did he, just put that into live chat. Let's see, what, that's better. Do, do, do. Oh, looking good. Yeah, we get, hello, Elizabeth, I hope you're well. Did you, did, did you get your other half, the wallpaper joint roller? <laughs> so, anyway, before I can actually carry on working in here, I need to... Well, do a bit of clearance. Yeah, as in, 
put things away, such as air sanders and tape measures and stuff like that. This is a bit of a random one today, you know. I, I might even make something. I don't know. You know, I might not. I've got some glue here. This is a uh, old boy wood stick. There's some D3 uh, and some D4 wood glue. So I'm going to put that back on its shelf over here. It's just, uh, I don't know, I, 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 I actually hate being in a, this kind of mess. Yeah, there's a random tripod. My dog's not helping. Oh dear. You need a microphone on, darling. If you're going to speak, you need a microphone. I'll, I'm coming with a microphone, my darling. Can I clip it onto your derriere? Where can I clip it onto? Your hearing aid? Oh, there. Oh, onto your bra. All right. Okay. Blimey. Why is he Caroline, sick? Caroline, Caroline. Where do fish go on holiday? On vacation? Do you know? Vacation? Where do fish go on vacation? You don't know? Oh. Do oh. we tell you? Yeah. They go to Finland. <laughs> oh, dear. I know. I know. <laughs> boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, dear. Where are we? Oh, Caroline, should, should, I should I tell him about little Stefan? When Stefan, our son Stefan, when he was a, when he was a baby. Yeah. When he was tiny. Well, not a baby, when he was a, a young lad. Right. Do you know what, do you know what happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. him up. <laughs> this is when we were in Salos in, in Norfolk. Just little Stefan. Is that when you used the bubble stuff to wrap him up with? No, 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 no. Okay, let, let me explain. I have to go along with this, all right, darling? Yeah. I'll tell, tell you. Won't be, I don't know if you remember it. It was a long while ago. Mm. Well, little old Stefan, our son, he walked in to the bathroom and there was Mummy having a shower, weren't you? And uh, <laughs> Stefan, know. what he did is. I don't know this did. story. I don't know this story. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> That, that, that's not a story. Our, our, our son Stefan, what he did, what he did, he, he looked down there, he did. I said, Mummy, what is that down there between your legs? And, what, and Caroline tells our son, Don't you, darling? Yes, you do. Yeah, well, don't you, darling? Tells us, It's my beaver, Stefan, it's my beaver. Well, the following day, okay, on the weekend, yeah, and he did quite regular, he stayed at his nanny's, yeah, with his grandpa. They had lunch and what have you. He got a bit grubby and what have you, yeah. Well, he was dying, he was, to have a wee. Yeah, you know, there he was, running to the toilet. Yeah. And because it was a, well, they all got a bit dirty and sweaty. It was a hot, sunny day and what have you. Nandy decided she wanted to have a shower. And there he goes, little old Stefan. He runs into the bathroom, desperate for a wee. And he says, Nanny, what's that between your legs? And she says, it's my beaver. Wow. <laughs> little old Stefan, come home, he did. On the weekend, and he, and he, <laughs> and he said, "Why are you telling stupid jokes?" I should do this on there. Why are you telling stupid jokes? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I've got, I've lost track now. I've lost track now. Well, that's because it's not oh, true. <laughs> uh, what do you mean it's not true? It's a true story. It is honest. Not. It's a true story. Yeah. Anyway. I thought this he was a woodworking again on mummy. I thought this was a woodworking channel. <laughs> and he told her, uh, uh, mummy, he did. I ran in on that nanny and I saw her beaver. Huh? Did you son? Oh dear. Was she okay? Well I don't know. But I think a beaver is dead. Why is that, Stefan? Because he had his the beaver had his tongue hanging out. <laughs> We got fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, anyway, let's put your tools away. I was doing really well here, and then your dog came. Oh, my, my dog, was he still laying down there, right in the way? Yeah. Shall we put that, shall I put that unit over there, out of the way? Let's see if I can wobble it over there, shall I? Wobble it. I can wobble it over here. Oh, blimey. Well, now I'm knocking things off the, off their rack. Oh, little rack. There you go, up there you go. We've got a wobble, wobble, wobble. Little falling cabinet. I did have it on the end of my uh, outfeed table on the table saw. The problem is this is harder than the outfeed table. So I keep hitting it with bits of wood, which wasn't a good idea. 
I think these trestles can come out here now. These um, saw horses. Yeah. Do you need these? They go back on the rack up there. No, they can be. They can go on the fire, darling. Keep us warm. This used to be here, didn't it? Yeah, they did. Yeah, that's where it originally came from. There. That'll do. All right, now I can use the full length of the. Uh, it was there, you see, and every time I had a long piece of wood off the table saw, it would hit it. So it wasn't a good idea, was it? That's not a good idea. No, it's not. How come Hey, Mars is the biggest fan! Sitting in a car, eating a chicken curry pie! Or oh, was it a ginster? <laughs> and still raining. Oh, blimey. Yeah, it's not raining here. No, it's been raining off and on. Apparently, this weekend's nice going to be lovely. And today. We have a nice day. It's a nice day. Oh, I can really do with it as well, I'll tell you. Oh, all this rain get me down, it does. Did it? Uh, uh, what am I doing now? Oh, you, you, you pick it up, it's wood. All right. Uh, okay, can I release the crack and the cramps over here? Try to get this door off my bench. Probably not. But I might do it anyway. Because it's in my way. This door just literally going to go in the uh, little workshop at the end where we're going to. Pull stuff apart. That's painful. Like that overhead means videos. Some, and stuff. Mean. You know, some faceless, some yeah. my face. No? Okay, I'll, I'll stop that. Well, ah, I had to shorten it because it was too long, you see. I don't I, know where this door came from, but it's been sitting in the car next door. Are you using them? Um, What's that? There's bits of wood on there. Am I using. The, the bits of wood that you're using for just uh, your wall? The wall? See. Uh, yes, I'll be using them for trimming or scribe them in. So can they go the in the other room then, out of the way? They can go into the other room. Because you said get rid of the trestles. You said get rid uh, of the trestles. Where yeah. do trestles live? Uh, they actually live on the wall, believe it or not. There's, oh. a bra there's brackets up there on the wall. Well, wall. maybe you can put them on the wall then. There, we'll do that in a second. We've got a soundboard above there now as well. I like my soundboard. Anything that stops the echo. You know, no one wants to hear me twice. No. So I've got these trims here. These pieces of wood here are literally um, stickers from uh, what they use to put between I don't know, sheets of plywood and stuff, or boards and what have you, or pallets in, uh, the, uh, in the brick and marsh shades in the DIY stores. So I, I, I collect all this rubbish wood and then I use it, you see, and then it's free. And I like free. Did you show me your d d bench? Yeah, I have, yeah. It's, it's covered in newspapers. Well, actually, a book, actually. A uh, weird something, or weird history or something. Science, technology, food and drink, ancient in uh, accident injury. Who in error? That's me. Yeah. Friend <laughs> right, Let me know in here now. So that's going to be a little studio room out of the way. So I've got more wood up there. I forgot to take them to shutters. Like these ones there. Got to get another load, another load of wood in. A bit expensive now. Double the price, but that's how it is, isn't it? We need to pick some more up, don't we? Show us your dirt star. Huh? My dirt star? Do you mean my uh, <laughs> my chocolate uh, starfish? Is that what you're talking? I'm going to show you that dirt star. No, a chocolate starfish. Your bum hole. Huh? Your bum hole. <laughs> Shall I go up there and, and put those up on the ceiling? Yeah. I think I should, as in the sawhorses. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to need them for a bit, am I? No, because that would be a good idea, because that would be a Everything's in the way. Uh, there's steps on here. One of the there is because I stuck that soundboard, because it's a surplus soundboard that we had upstairs. Not using that thing, though, for the video, so we took it down. Oh, I found a pencil by Kenzie Mike. Look at that, it's a Mike pencil. Oh, blimey. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Still using my top carbon pencil. It's on the bench over here, let me show you. Get a bit, get a bit worn now. I have to super glue it. It's got a little crack developing just there. So just super glue, that's fine now. Um, and I've, I've super glued a magnet on there as well. Because then I can just put it on something metal and it's out of the way. So I keep losing things. Yeah, I'm blind. Do we need all these <clears throat> step ladders in here? Possibly not. Not now. Just put this over shall here, I and then we'll jump on that bench and put that away. Shall put this one up away as well? Sorry, what's that, Mr. Ellen? Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, we can come out now as well. Come on, okay, we've got over here, we've got this, uh, my lazy Susan. Is this an outside one, doesn't it? Right, uh, that's outside, yeah. Uh, I've got the sawhorse, there's no coming. There's one in. 
There's one. I some of the pasture. Wood. I just use that to paint this wood on. I'll put that up in a minute. I'm just going to cut it bits of wood on, just paint bits of wood. They're a bit worse for wear now, actually. I think it's because I left them outside in the rain. Yeah, they're a bit worse for wear. Step ladder will keep. The other sort of horse, the decent one, was that? Put that in there. Up we go. Oh, don't look at the butt crack. Yeah. I'm up here now. Now let's put these back up here. Everything these are placed on it, eh? That it does. That's one. Oh, now, there used to be wall units on here until we took them down. I've only got one up there now. Can you put the paint? Yes, I'll give you those. One. I need that one done. Oh, do you? Okay. There's one there at the moment, but there used to be one, two, three more, which are now in that end no. room. Paint is, great. is this this one going up there? Oh, no, 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 that can't go. That's when, when, oh, I actually share, use that one. It goes underneath the saw. Yeah, okay. that's, quite snip. that's a good point, actually. I can use it to get down, can't I? So the well, there. there's a step there, anyhow. Do, 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 do. Hello, Decre uh, Decaes. Show us your door. Let's do. Did you finish the barn door? Let me show you. Yes, we finished the barn doors and it notified the customer. Oh, that and could, that could go on the bench, couldn't it? Oh, uh, that? Yeah. What bench? No, I've, got, I've got a lacquer all first. Oh, okay. That's what I'll get, try to get ready for, so on the new bench. The, the barn doors are here. And this one's the pedestrian door. And this one here is the pedestrian barn door, which the other pedestrian door fits into. And then we've got the big, big one here. I'm quite pleased, actually, because they're pretty darn straight. There's no twist or anything in them. So they work out really well for such shutters. a large door. And shutters. Oh, we're making shutters as well. I've got, got to do the leg, uh, braces on those ones. So I've um, got another load of them to do. I've got another pair of those ones to make. Then we rip them down on the table saw to whip. But I'm putting there, get them out of the way. And then I've got to start, and then I've got another set of shutters. Not yeah, quite we're a lot, hopefully these two jobs will be out of the way at the weekend. Yeah, it's quite, um, oh yeah, definitely. Get next them. week we can start the other. Start the other shutters? Yeah. Blimey. I've got some doors to make now as well. Oh, you've got to fit the garage. You have got to fit the garage doors as well. Yeah, I did think about doing that live, Caroline, but I don't know if Sandra would um, appreciate that. She's she, a bit of an exhibitionist, isn't she? She'd have to be in it. She'd probably like to be in it. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Huh? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> She'd love it. I'd have to ask her. I think you should ask her. I'm just whether or not I can get any uh, uh, decent signal there, don't The two sacks, not. The best Very good place, there. There, is a, there is an antenna, but I don't know if it's the same service provider. I suppose it all depends whether... <laughs> right, let me show you something, all right? Because I was watching a video the other day. It's a YouTube short showing how to uh, straighten the board on the table saw. And I thought, oh my giddy out, you don't do it like that. In fact, when they did it, it wasn't straight. They tried to make out that was straight because they've been sort of like clever with the positioning. And I wanted to do a remix video of it. But it was, um, it wouldn't let you, obviously they weren't allowing it. Probably because they knew they'd get rid of grief. Because <laughs> it was shit. <laughs> anyway, if you want to, say for instance, take that weighing edge off, or you've got a, uh, a, a bendy board, like for instance, that angle, that, that, that's, that, that ain't straight, as you can see there. What you can do is, you see, you can grab another piece of wood, like so. You can use super glue or double sided tape if you want, or you can pin it on, or you screw it or whatever, and just place that, right? Line it up parallel to where you want the cut to be. And then you literally stick that on there like that, and that provides you a straight edge to run along the fence. And then you can rip off a nice straight um, edge. As long as that's straight, that cut there, will be, the opposite cut will be straight, you see. But what this person had, they had this bit of, bit of wood which is like a bit like a banana. <laughs> what they did was, they got another bit of wood, they did. Put it along here like that. Make sure it's, yeah, it was straight, like that they did, right? And then they <laughs> pushed it along here like that. Bit, remember this bit of wood was bent? And as it was coming along, it was like pushing away from the actual fence against the saw blade. I thought, what the hell are you doing there? <laughs> That's not how you do it. A nice workshop as well. I don't know why on earth, you know, they'd uh, I was trying to show that because that was ridiculously stupid. There you go. Now, that's, that's a much bigger workshop than I've got. My workshop is quite small, actually. And it's kicked out all this lovely gear. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, I'll tell you what's really annoying me at the moment. There's all these flipping pocket hole screws, I keep saying, on videos. I, I haven't really got a problem with pocket hole screws per I se. I thought what annoyed you at the moment is you 
Yeah, you like to watch um, shorts, woodworking shorts, well, I and you keep you keep getting lots of um, rude women on there. Yeah. <laughs> I've well, got, I've all the algorithms supposed to give you what you want, and all I keep getting is, is um, uh, videos, right, in in the feed for my sh uh, short feed on YouTube of uh, uh, lasses in the woods, either chopping wood or um, what else were they doing? Or chopping wood or doing things with knives and stuff. And axes, yeah, uh, lighting fires and stuff, and bit, bits of sawdust or whatever stuff I found in the wood. Okay, it can be quite interesting, but you know, for well, the only reason why these videos are popular is because the nipples, the nipples are pointing through their t shirt. And I tell you what, so am I, if I don't get the views, no, they are, darling. No, <laughs> whoa, oh, dude. <laughs> I quite like I like YouTube Shorts because I find it sometimes quite uh, insp in, inspires me, gives me ideas and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, or gives me a reason to, to, you know, to pass comment on something that I don't agree with. And other times it's just what you have is you put a search, you say, oh, know, woodworking or something. You get like two videos about woodwork, and then the rest of them are like girls with no clothes on, or very li few coat, limited amount of clothing. Now, if I did that, I think I'd get a strike. <laughs> what do you reckon, darling? Mm. Do you reckon? Do you think I'd get more booze if I, well, if, I, if I was all skimpy? Who wants to see And you Marcus? could see my man Who wants to see Marcus with a man well, Actually, Marcus was a bit bigger fan once. He actually um, uh, donated 100 quid once when I was on the island. If we, went, if we jumped in the water naked. Did you and do I it? said, yes, I'll do it. Did you? You didn't no, do I it? No, I didn't do it because Graham, he wouldn't do it. No, he's prudish, wouldn't he? He's prudish, yeah. I reckon he's got a tiny winky, always embarrassed or something. There's nothing not quite right there. <laughs> <laughs> he was shy. He made some random excuse about, oh, what if children see it? <laughs> yeah, you did lots of woodworking there, didn't you? You'd have to show it, Ethan. Hmm? Huh? You did lots of woodworking there. I did. Been quite woodworking. With very well, I had a ch one chisel. I had to make all sorts of stuff. One chisel and a hammer. Until um, somebody made a donation, and we had a few, t a few, t few tools after that. Not many though. But yeah, it was a. The first, I think it was the first thing I built was a bench. I, oh yeah, I built a bench so I could actually build stuff. Do the work. So I could <laughs> do the work. That place was a mess. Knock it down. Start again. Do 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 as a drill need fixing. Need battery. Or something. I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it. Alright. Oh, I can see my bench again. Look at this. I see the bench. Just a boat. What's this? A random oh. A very old oh crikey, what make is that? Avo? Yeah, Avo, a very old Avo multimeter. Yeah. It's got ohms on it. What's got ohms on it? It's got ohms on it. I wonder if it still works. I wonder if we've got a battery yet. Let's have a look, see if we've got a battery yet. I know, I know YouTube likes to try and test to see if, you know, oh yeah, they might like this, or they might like that. Screwing coming out. Obviously, I can't put the Hoover on. Slow down. <laughs> Obviously, we can't Hoover. Why? Oh, my giddy aunt. The battery's leaked. But stay at that. I don't think that's any good. It hasn't caused any damage. It's got a little bit of corrosion on the contacts there. Let's stay at that battery. <laughs> I don't think that's only got wet. Has this got wet? It hasn't. It? It's not been rained on. It might not be any good. It's very simple, though, isn't it? What's this thing there? Has it got a buzzer? It's actually got a buzzer on it, hasn't it? Is it a buzzer? Oh, what's that one it has? Hmm. Your dog, curious, is, your dog is still there. Sorry, Dom? Your dog is still there. I've got like a little potentiometer here. That's an interesting potentiometer actually, because if you look here, you've got this uh, bar. Yeah, resistance bar there, and depending on where that, and it's literally just touching it, depending on what position it's at, yeah, 
changes the resistance. That's pretty clever. Simple. I think it might be right. It probably just needs to. I'll leave it open and dry right. It's not wet at the moment. It's obviously got wet. Put that screw in there. Oh. Does it have a fuse in it? There's no fuses in it. I think I'll put some contact clean on there later and just see if I get it working. <clears throat> might work, might not. There you go. Right, over here we have this little bull nose plane. There's a little, uh, uh, that would be a little rebate plane, but it's also the bull nose. So in fact, you can go fairly close. You can also make it into a chis chisel plane as well. So you can just take the screw right here, right, and remove. Remember, I think that part comes off, and then you can use it as a chisel plane right into the corners. Then, in the rebate, for instance, okay, the rebate. it needs some TLC because it's got damp, it'll start to corrode a little bit, which is a bit annoying. There you go, and you can adjust the mouth as well by moving this, sliding this backwards and forwards, which as far as back it goes. Useful at all, though. Back into its space, everything needs to have a place. So there it goes. Yeah, what's doing here? Is it me or is that smoky? That's very hot. Is it, have you left sawdust on top of the fire? So it's like burning the sawdust? Possibly. Oh, yes, so it has. That's what's making it smoky. Got some heat coming out of that. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Well, how are we doing over here then? Oh my god. So I need this bench clear, so when I actually rip down the shutters to width, I've got some room. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. I'll be doing it for uh, oh, Don't forget to boot the old like button. You'll all get accused of putting things in the wrong places. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah, know? a bad woman, you. Huh? How do you turn that off? Oh, no. You'll say that I'm just putting things in the wrong places. Are you putting things in the wrong place, woman? Oh yeah, that's better. You can see now. It's dark for some reason. There, does it? So, what we've got over here, we've got other things to be put away. Oh, we're not in this fancy camera. I guess I'll take the pennies up though. We're in here. AI tripod camera. Ozbot, something like it's called. Really clever. A lot of money though. Dun, dun, dun. I say a lot of money, 550 quid. Feels like a lot of money. And you've got the remote, it's not handy. I don't know why I've got the PVC uh, yeah, pipe adhesive for. That can go in my glue box, which is over there. And I've got these bits of wood over there. I don't know, this is random. Oh, that's for a uh, car stereo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's because I left them in the rain. And oh, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, left all this electronics in the rain, didn't you? Yeah, but look, what did I do? What did you do? What did I do yesterday? I know, you left all the trunks in the rain, that's what you did. What did I do yesterday? Huh? What did I do? What did you do? Oh, I don't know. What, what, did, what, did, what did I do to your electric shed? Oh, the electric shed, what, the solar shed? The one, the solar electric shed yeah, that we couldn't you even get in. in the solar shed, hey, darling. We couldn't even get in it. You could, actually, no, you couldn't. I admit, you could not get in the solar shed. And it's only an ice now. PH saw me. What's that? Uh, I've got all my little jig here for splicing. Do a little scarf joint. That needs to go up there in a minute. Find the steps again. And a random toilet roll hold. Yeah, that's uh, random. Um, I don't know where that comes from. Oh, off a wall somewhere, I imagine, with a toilet roll. We, we could probably do with one out here downstairs toilet. Downstairs toilet. Yeah. I don't know if we've got the wall space to put one on. Well, maybe we could find some. Cause I find usually some sitting space. on the, the the ledge with the toilet. What, random forty five degree places. Oh, there's uh, another sandboard. Oh, the, oh, the original green screen. Oh dear me. Oh dear, dear. Oh, you're a good scrubber, aren't you, darling? Thank you. Love You're welcome. Too. You really? You must be mad. You lost some mine. Oh, look at my little wally dog. Look at him. Oh. I think is. some of that stuff comes off the top of the nose. Love basking. What you had there? Uh, no? Soda? 
Some of that stuff comes up the top of the units that you have. Oh, there. well, we took these units then that are over there, which are now yeah. in the workshop. I think. Hello, Remy ha uh, Hammer. Oh, amazing. You're amazing too, that you are. Yeah, apparently I'm amazing, darling. Oh, oh, I'm not amazing. No, 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 me. Yes, I'm amazing. You're just oh. a scrubber. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going now. No, 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 you are finished. Huh? You haven't finished. I'm going. There's loads to do. I'm not amazing, I'm going. Oh, you are. You are amazing. You need a boat near me. Oh, are you nearly there yet? Yeah. I think we are. Caroline? What? Did you put that on the toilet door one time or is just is they got random This? Yeah. That was our toilet door downstairs. Was it? And then we changed then we changed it for them um oh, oak, doors. oak doors that we found. Oh no, it makes sense. Don't you remember? Oh, I remember now. Annoy me. You remember now? We, no, we didn't find they were the old ones out of the lounge in the uh, in the front part of the house. The ones we've got there at the moment. And I had to add bits of wood because they were too low because the French people must have been really, really short. And uh, even though I'm really, really short, I'm not that short. No, but I'm short. Oh, you know what I mean. Hello, Mad Mom. Oh, the sound is not good. Is that door going anywhere or right. is it Scott Is that okay now? Is that door going anywhere or staying? Good, it should be good. Uh, it should be all right. Right, is the sound okay now? Why is the sound not good? Apparently the sound's not good, said Mad Monk. Oh, I don't know. Worry me now. I don't know. Obviously some reason. Right, is it this adapter? Oh, it is okay, is it? The sound's okay? I hope so, because it's just... Uh, it's like flipping adapters, if not, they're annoying. I, I've got this rat adapter, but you've got a plug-in, so I'm going to plug in the uh, wireless microphone. It's the same microphone I normally use, and it says it's all connected. I suppose I'm going to plug it and plug it back in again and see if that makes any difference. I'm just putting these cups in the kitchen quickly. Uh, Caroline's sound is going funny at times. Oh, oh it's probably because I'm... Oh, no, I saw what's happening. It's rubbing your neck, darling. Huh? It's rubbing your neck. Uh, one minute. She'll take this off. I'm getting hot. Oh, she's going to take clothes off. Oh, oh, oh. I can't show you this. It's pornographic. Oh, blimey, me, oh, crikey, you need shaving armpits. <laughs> that's better. That's loads better. better. I put it down there. That's better. Yeah. That's probably, it's just probably rubbing, uh, uh, what's it? Her uh, uh, microphone was rubbing her uh, jumper. Oh, right, darling. yeah. Is this an electric shed? That is, yes. And it's, put that both in there. That's just rubbish. These are the little oh, oh, hangers you put on the oh, kitchen oh, units, but I don't there. use them because they're rubbish. I'll, I'll put these in the... Electric all shed. I did was I put extra bits of wood Another work bit across the back, um, screw all the place, and then shed fix James. through that, because that way I can guarantee I'm getting level. So not 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 as an individual thing, they're like held to, you know, in place as a whole, as an entirety. That seems to work, I'll show you. There we go, there we go, I did show beginning of the stream, like over here you see. They're all basically fixed together as one unit, the wood bind. And there's a piece of wood underneath which they're all resting on. Mm -hmm. That's just the old fashioned way of doing it, you know. It just works. And bins are only cheaply, cheaply, cheaply units. And like the cheapest budget ones you can get. These are the early ones. And I bought them years ago in the, in the workshop. Um, I just put a coat of paint, roll of paint on the front there, and then put the sandboards on. Did you have a dishet I mean, roof the in there? Using blankets from, <laughs> from uh, uh, Action. Uh, like three euros for a blanket. Just oh, shattery. Yeah, like this stuff here. Yeah, These are grey ones. Here. Did you have just shattery a minute ago? Did I have a just shattery? Yeah, you said something about it's rubbish. Uh, did I? Oh yeah. Stuff what's in, this? This stuff in, What's that then? That. Oh, that block. That, this. I made that. It's like it's an adapter, right, to go onto a ball hitch on the ferrous lawnmower. Okay, because then, then you can tow. Uh, the little trailer that doesn't have a butt board hitch. Oh, okay. Just has a pin hitch. Okay. So that's what All that right. is. Well, when you we find the thing that needs to go in the shettery bag, I will put it in. What's over here, darling? The shettery is like the uh, uh, tip. tip. The tip of place here in France. 
Which is these things here. I don't know why I put them on the shelf. Why do you put them on the shelf if they've got all the shittery? Don't throw the wire away, we done. No. I put it on your wall. Yeah. And what you like. You think that's rubbish, Scotty? Because it's used a bit of wire, you see. Yeah. Right, uh, what have we got over here then now? Do you think I need them? <laughs> Maybe. Not that long as on the end of a bench. I think we're getting closer to being able to actually do some work. That might not be a simple idea, but I suppose it'd be a good one. Now, <laughs> so yeah, it's um, I think it's coming. We, we are getting lines here now. I think the audio in here is much better than it was when I did my little test video the other day. And uh, we've got our, I'd say we've got a sandboard on, on there, and uh, got that, which is also a sandboard and green screen. And it's reversible, so it's got a you know, nice side on the other side because it ends up in the background. And then we put the sandboard on there and also on the ceiling. Anything to deaden the sound, you see, to stop the sound bouncing back and forth. So it's basically what an echo is, isn't it? It's basically sound meeting microphone. If you, a few milliseconds after you've actually spoken. And uh, I've got a lack of this, so I've got some PVA sealer over here, which is basically a, wood, a woodwork sealer, a uh, PVA wood sealer. There. So put that on first, and then I'll put on some clear clear lacquer. So um, PVA wood sealer that will also help stick the, the book <laughs> that I use. <laughs> it was free, you see. Uh, I like free. If I don't got to spend money, that needs washing. That, that needs washing, does it? Or dust must there. Can't wash that. No. no. Right, here we are. Get the dust mask back. Mm. Oh, it's just like everything. It's just a mess. The state of that. You know? Lost. Crap everywhere. It's getting better though. It's getting look at that. Oh, there's all. Oh, sort of. Yeah. Luffy plane. I'll put that away. Fredder oh, oh, oh. uh, That sound. That's my little. I've never seen this before. I recommend anybody make one of these. Right? This little handle here unscrews, okay, from this uh, angle grinder type uh, back and pad, you know, Velcro back and pad with sandpaper. And when you buy these things, they come with a little spigot because you put it into the electric drill. So what I did is I thought, oh, I know, I'm going to make this out. a standard pad handle. An ergonomic one. See how ergonomic that is? It's like with the things really cl wall, yeah, climbing. Yeah, in indoor climbing wall. And basically, I mount that in there, put a little pin for an owl dyed all into place. I use its horse and I just create the clearance hole there. And it works so well. So that's basically my sanding pad. And I use it a lot. That I do. Simple, isn't it? You know, we've got hand sanders. We've got a little space there for it. Perfectly. Um, but if you can get hold of one of these, I, I've looked on a little actually, I don't think they do them anymore. This is a park side one with a little beach handle. It's got a plastic version on there, which looks a bit shit. Um, it's got the usual kind of little clamps there, sand clamps. You just wrap the paper around and clamp the base. They're pretty good. I actually quite like that. I do use that quite a bit, as you can probably tell. Oh! Caroline, yeah. people can see your derriere. I don't think they can. Oh, they, they did, I showed them. <laughs> You frighten them before fire. Right, I've got a rack on the back here for me here. Uh, I think it's going to go out if you don't put some wood on it. Oh, OK. It's, but we don't really we need, need it. Yeah, no, let's go on there like that, um, Do we need wood oh, now? Sorry. sorry. Do we need um, I suppose you can start bringing wood in. Well, I've got wood somewhere. I had wood. Here. All right, as long as um, got, we need straight wood. Yeah. And that bendy stuff. Where's the uh, knife or gone? Or stuff that's like a... Uh, that's like a boomerang. Where's the little knife gone? The little knife? There was one over there a minute ago. Uh, it's here, down. It's on the bench. Oh, OK. Get Let me just get rid of these clamps. All right, so we're getting there with that, are we? So what we've got to do next, then? So this the... Give me the knife and I will we split the pack. Oh, the rails are actually made. So we haven't got that worry. Right, it is a 1320 long by 450 wide times two, so it's a 900 wide. And the ledges are here. I'm doing this bit. You're going to do that bit. I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. I'm going to do some uh, routering. Not routering. No, some routering. 
You're going to do that bit? Are you going to, you're going to select the perfect I'm boards? I'm not selecting it. You're not? Why no. not? Because I'll do some dangerous raiding. I would be rubbish at it. All right, let's move the old turpentine out of the way. Then the fire, that's clever. And, um... <laughs> Well, spinny thing. This is just the fence. That's it. Is that right? Is that right? Let's have a look. Make sure the roller. That's about right. Wouldn't it be close? We're not. I think that's about right. Oh, yes. This might be. Noisy. <gasps> it's like going to the dentist. We need to sort this wood because I okay. need to know if you need any more. Well, I know you need more. Well, don't so more. we need more wood. We don't know. We need a step ladder. Oh dear. So we've got sandboards up there now. Hope the audio should be better. Right. Now we have to do our thing with these boards because, unfortunately, very rarely are they true or straight or not twisted. So you've got to bear that in mind when you, when you put them together. It's not necessarily a problem. That one you see, it's got a twist in it. So I can't use that on a long on a long long shutter like this. See, it's got a twist. You can't do much about a twist. Apart from using a shorter um, piece of work. So that one's alright. It's got a bit of a twist in it. Oh, it's still a... Where it is, where the twist starts. That one's quite a bit higher than that one. That one's just got an upward bend. Might be a good idea this time to mark. Oh, Craig, don't hit me with my wood. I've got to get them down one at a time, so it might take me a while. I've got my pencil. Right. What I'm going to do is all the ones that are ups, I'll just put a cross on. And that way I know uh, what way it is with flex devils. So this was a down, so that's up, that's a cross on it. You can see that was up, it's always got a twist on that one, so I don't want to use that. That one's right. These two here. Have been relegated. You need a twelve, didn't you? For uh, them. I can't remember. You said you need a twelve. What for the door the door door, the door show? Yeah. I can't, I think so. It was a ten or twelve. Oh, I can't right. remember. See, it might have been ten. Here from? If you look over here, Caroline, this one here, you see doing Wobbly. that. Wobbly. You look at the bit of wood. Yeah. See what's happening? Yeah. 
that's rolled from side to side. That's because of the twisting like a propeller. Yeah. You can't use that. Oh. So what, this one's all right. This has got the twist in it. It might have a bend in it. I need up more. At the end, I need more than. Thing. Well, that doesn't actually matter. We can actually counteract that by opposing the bend. But the twist, I can't. How many pieces do you need? Weird. I can't remember. What's in the other shutters? Oh, God. These are they're exactly the same, aren't they? Wait a minute. Count them, woman, count them. One, two, three, four. Which ones were they? One, someone's got five and someone's got four. Oh, dear. No, it's the ones that are the longer ones. Oh. Sorry? The long ones? Yeah. Well, someone got five. That's up. I think there's possibly five what in each, so it's ten I boards. Tell you, I have a look. What are you looking at? I think it's ten boards. Uh, ten boards, yes. Hey, what size are those ones? I'm getting confused now. Oh, they're the short. They're short ones. Oh, that's these ones there, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, ten boards. So these ones and these ones are two separate ones. Oh, thirteen twenties. These are thirteen twenties. There's still ten boards though. Oh my giddy aunt, it's like Lauren Hardy. If it's Lauren Hardy, I'll probably bam bump you on the head. Oh, that's another five mess you got me into. Right, that's, that one's an up. So if I put a cross on the ups, at least I know which all the ones, you know, let's say for example, I want to put that one next to that up, I'll slip it their way round and that'll counter when they're together, that'll counteract the um the ups and the downs, the downs and the ups. You need ten bolt usable boards for a shutter, and any good good boards. I mean, really good boards. I'm putting to one side, so I use them on the door shutter because they're actually much longer. This one's only going to be thirteen twenty long, although I'm laying out the full length of the boards at the moment. They're only going to be a, it's quite a short shutter, really. That's another. Mm, I don't like that one. That's a twisted one. You can't get good wood these days. Are we the getting misses? anywhere? Huh? We're not getting very far. <laughs> no, we're not. That's a good one. That's, that's, a... that's half of it. Yeah, as long as it's got a twist in it. See, that's bend is that way. Ah, there. I, I like the fact my saw over there is a lot clearer now. Yeah, I'm quite pleased about that. <laughs> After all, the new horse is a Richard Black dog. Hello, Richard Black dog. I hope you're well, my friend. Yeah, we've been tidying up the old workshop, Richard, we have. Uh, we'll start it, we haven't finished yet, actually. There's still a mess. Look over there. Crap, I'll load down there. Uh, got a random computer down there, which I've got to sort out. Because it's got to go back up over there where the laptop is. And uh, look at the mess over here. Because we've been clearing things up. It's just like you... It's like omelettes and eggs, you know? You can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs. Oh, look at little boy. Are you still... Yeah, I'm sorry, Wally, but the sun's gone in. Right, the sun's gone in. Now, if you didn't know already, we've got a rewilding project we're doing here. And if you have an idea what it's going to look like, see that tree there, that one? I planted that a few years back, probably six, seven years ago now, maybe a bit longer. And I've been doing others since then, which are a bit smaller. You know? And they're the contorted willow. They look lovely, don't they? They're a very nice tree, they are. So we're, that's kind of the majority tree that we've been putting in our fields, as well as the oaks and the chestnuts. Alders and stuff, the elder. Four, you name it. Six, Lots of deciduous trees. Seven. Can you find me some more wood, my darling? I, well, I think we either need three or five for the door. Are we going to Chinese? We're not going Chinese today now, are we? No. Nah. Something silly happened yesterday. We were discussing about why the Chinese would you tell restaurant them I made that a mistake we like to go yesterday. to here in France. And it was, um, we were saying about how they're closed on Tuesdays. I said, it's really inconvenient, isn't it? Because we yeah. made that mistake a couple of times now. Yeah, and, and what happened was, Caroline came through and said, oh, do you want to go to the Chinese? Even though at the same day, we were talking about the Chinese and said, you can't go on a Tuesday because they're closed on Tuesdays. And it's very cheap, you see. Must be gone senile. And, and then she goes to Compton for her and she says, oh, should we go out and go to the Chinese? She can't go. You know, so... And you well, didn't say no. I didn't think, I just didn't think about it, you see. I've, I've been my fibromyalgia. Yeah. Brain fog. That's what it is, so it's your fault. And um, so there we go, we get in the car, go, go all the way there. Is it Carol? We didn't go all it? the way there, we got to Saint Well, we got Lauren. to Saint, uh, Saint, Saint Lawrence. Lawrence. It's about five kilometres away. 
We we about five six, anyway. We wasted about 12, 15 kilometers of fuel because in roadworks at the moment, you have to go the long way back. Yeah. So we. Uh, it was very annoying. All right, that's up. What's this one like? Are you nearly there or not? I think we're getting close. That, one, that was a good one. Uh, that bends on that side. Is that good enough for your door? I think it's good enough for the, sh for the shutter. All oh, right. I mean, that one's a really straight one, as well. It's not twisted. That 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 one, door, that's door one. Back bend door one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This will be if you can get this one. Oh, that'll be, be ten. That'll be the ten, yeah. If that's okay. If not, I'm going to find if you it's another okay, one. Okay, that'll be the ten. Oh, okay. We'll see. If not, I have to find another. Is it, not, is it twisted? No, it's flat. Is it straight? How straight is it? How straight? Is it good enough for the door? It is, yeah. So I need another one. You need another <laughs> one. That's the door one. <laughs> Can you check the door? Do we, how wide is the door? Uh, the door shutter. How wide is the door shutter? Because we might as well the source the wood. The door shutter is... We might as well source the wood for both of us. It's quite wide, them. actually. It's uh, four, six, five inch, so it's going to be what? Uh, 930. So how many boards is that? I don't know. How many boards is this one? It's going to be about six on each side. So it'll be about 12, I reckon. I, thought, I think that's what you told me, 12. Yeah, it's going to be about 12. So how many have we got so far here? One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. There's nine there, is there? Yeah, and okay. we need one more here, I think. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of cuts on this one because these boards are too four long and the shutter's only 13, 20 so long. So we need... <coughs> we need... What do we need, more. my darling? We need four more. Four more? Can you remember what happened with that other shutter? Was it, how did that go together, the other shutter? Four more good ones. Where the boards fall, you think. Otherwise, you're going to end up with silly skinny bits on the edges of the shutter, which are terrible. They fall off. Well, they don't, but you know, it's awful. So you've got sort of bound to make See this one here? It's got like that, four full boards. I think it might be Ben. And it looks tidy. Well, I think that one is Ben. The measurements of the shutter didn't quite work out. I think that last one they is Ben. You know, you know, like the real skinny bit on one edge. I think the last one was Ben. So I done? I think the last one was Ben. Was it? Well, I took in there for you. Okay. So this is the 1320. Oh no, these ones panned out quite well actually. Yeah, these ones are okay. I think that's right. <laughs> So what I'll do is then, whatever becomes the middle uh, shutter, the middle board of the shutter, I'll actually um, rip that down, take the tongue and the groove off, so they can oppose each other in the middle of the actual shutter before we put the, the actual ledges on. I think that's the plan. Let's move around a little bit more. There you go. Can you check these three? I've got to check those three, have I? Yeah. Lo me. We need four. Put these on there. To start. How many do we need? We need three for the door, one for the shutter. That was very bent. I'll go in the middle of the shutter. So what causes what you So when you put, place the boards down, what you do... So, oh, it's okay. Uh, when you place the boards down, if they're influencing the shutter... How long is that door? Because this, this was straight, apart from the little tiny bend at the end. Can't see how long it is. How long is it? Two point one three. So that so foot come off there. So or keep keep that then. Probably for keep the that door. for the door. Right, so at the moment we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got ten. These see what these two are doing. Well, let's put that there for a minute. I know it's not for the door, but that one looks bent. Right. Let's see if we can actually make it work though, shall we? Because when you put them together, if you find one's influencing the other one, and ideally you want a relatively straightish piece down the edge, so, you know, on the edges of the shutter, otherwise you potentially could influence this. That make a good edge one. Oh, I have to bend that up. Okay, it's a bit higher around. I suppose a relatively reasonable board. So that could be the, the edge. Uh, not on there, go that way around. Round that going thing, I say. Let's go through there. That one's right, and that one. 
Put them in. Oh, that way. I'll go across and then set these going the opposite direction. Uh, but that way around. Because <laughs> obviously, what you can't do, you, you, but if you but can't. You ain't got the thing to put in. I know, that's a binny right. bit. Binny bit. Doesn't look like it. That was a fairly straight one. I'll cut the what's off there. So there's five of these boards. So is this, work for, the is this work for the door? I don't know yet. What, what do you mean? As in, is it really straight? Yeah. Oh, I've got one board there. There's a pain in the neck board because it's off a different pack. Oh, no. But which one is it? Is it that one or is it this one? Or is it these two? Oh, that's really annoying. It, that, that, that's not compatible with that one. So maybe one of these others are. Arr, so annoying when that happens. Put that way around that way. It's a different sticker. Oh. They come off the, um, same, came from the same place. So do those. Nope. That's, di that's a different board. Oh dear me. You might have that trouble now. Up, that was down. So, do these two go together? Oh, do they go together? I think they do. They, they go together. Oh, blimey. Uh, that was up. That one's down. So, it's got to go down. So, the cross. So, those two, oh, those three go together. Just. Yeah, they go together. That's three. <coughs> But these two are different. We'll leave them for a minute. But I can do what I did last time. I could run the um or you can just plane put them the edge. Or you can just put them for the door. Because we need what? two more for the door. I could do. So we get on. Alright, so that one's down. <coughs> so that's going to be up. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Oh, that all goes together well. That's good, good. Uh, so that one's up. So that one Five. needs to be down. And then that's one door done. That's one side one done. One side of the shutter done, yeah. Yeah. And those two go together. I think they go together. Or do they not? I don't know if they do. Do they go with these two here? Maybe. Look like it. Hmm. No. This one looked like it. Really that as well. How do you mean? I don't know, look, it's slightly different. Uh, these don't go together, so they, that's still random. So that should really go into that one, all right? Oh, it does. Oh, it does, and that's stuff. Maybe it's just bad machining. Yeah. Maybe it's because they don't wrap these packs. So what you've got here, one, two, three, shrinking. four. There's five together now. So that's five together there, yeah? Yeah, so take these two away from them, that, and bring that five over, because that's one shutter. All right, all right, so bring them together like so. So now you need another. Need up. a hammer. Oh, need a hammer? I'll get it, you hold that. Mallet. The rubber mallet, or my four hammer, is up there. That white one. That's not white, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's what you were using last time. Listen, I was using oh. the forehammer. Oh, alright. Right, so we know they go together, and it's not just together, it's not influenced, is it? On these edges. So, let's move this. No, that's good. Let's move this over here. So, we always do it when you've got them together. Let's say for example I get a clamp on, then clamp them together. Providing the cor one corner isn't lifting up, you know these shutters have got to twist. I'm going to go away. Why? Because I've got other things to do. Really? Do I do need you, darling. Why? Oh, God. Who's this? Hoovering. I can't do the talking to people. Why? Who's was through there. Oh, dear. All right, I'll let you go. Got here the house? Yeah. You got here the house, do you? Yeah. Well, I don't want to. You don't want to, don't you like it, She likes ironing, food. don't you, darling? Yeah. She actually loves ironing. Yeah. Where's your microphone? Obviously, your hand. I need <laughs> to 
hoover. I don't want to hoover. But you, like, but you do. Hoover. You say you like ironing, don't you? Yeah. I'd like to cut the grass, and I'd like cutting the grass. It's been together now. That's right. That's, okay, those five are actually together. That's a good sign, isn't it? Mm. So annoying to get a mixed pack. You know, we'll try and get five out of this. We'll try and get five out of that one. Now, I can't use a clamp together, and if we look along, along the edges here, you can see it's touching. You got, you got, you got the microphone there? Should I put it in the little box? Ta ta! Ta-ta. She said ta ta. See you later, she said. Just put it back in charge. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, Caroline wants the knife. What the knife? Was it, give me the knife? It was Eddie Murphy. <laughs> what was that, Golden Child? That's a Golden Child. Give me the knife! Yeah. <laughs> what a daft film. What does blimey mean? It means shock, horror, oh my giddy aunt! That kind of thing. Oh, blimey. <laughs> like catastrophe! The end is nigh! Do, 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 do. I like Russian stepmums, apparently. Not me, but uh, 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 yeah, somebody does. Is it Batalan or something? Batuan? Uh, Russian stepmums. Oh, right, that's, that's a little bit random, but there you go, you know, everyone to their own. Yeah, it's coming together. That's not that big shot, but it's, um, it's about 10 metres. This particular one's about 10 metres by 5 metres. Five, yeah, 5 metres by 10 metres. So it's not huge, you know. Um, but I do have this, this shop next door, which is really messy. You know, it's more of a dumping ground, really. So this place here. We used to build shutters in there, actually, one time. And now I've got the space that I've sort of created in the end room there. Which I'm quite pleased that it's starting to look in there. It's going to be quite cool. I'm starting to make videos in there. But we're ripping things to pieces and seeing how they work like a kid. Yeah, that's the, that's the plan. So. Did they just scroll down? <laughs> Stop moving around. <laughs> Stop messing around and get on with the cladin. <laughs> I do make shutters, all right? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But Ivy, I'm always getting told off by him. It's like I'm a naughty boy. Yeah. You're a very naughty boy. Oh, I'm not going way around. Uh, nope, not way around. Hopefully, we get this one together without it being an issue. Because I mentioned a minute ago, like once it's clamped together, it's tight. But there will be released. The clamps will be released, obviously, because you must have clamped tight when you glue them up, basically. Um, but as long as it's like it's touching there, and touching in the opposite corner, yeah, and vice versa over here, and the, and the opposite corners over here, because the bench is flat. The bench is perfectly flat. Um, I know the shadow's gonna be flat. You see, so yeah. And also, one thing I haven't done, and what I normally do, this edge board here, because I set this stop here, perpendicular, 90 degrees, to the edge of this side here, and then as long as I actually um, clamp this down here, I know that when I um, tap all these boards up to the, the stop, that will all end up being square on the, on the end, you see. That's pretty much what you do. So, I'm not putting any braces on these today, but I'm just going to put the, uh, the, we'll get the ledges on. I don't know how long the foam's going to last. So, it doesn't all, on the adapter, oh, there's three boards there together, that's a good sign. On the adapter that I use for the microphone, there's a pass-through, which basically you can charge the phone while you're, um, you know, recording, what have you. But sometimes they work, and sometimes it doesn't, and it doesn't tell you when. It's like it keeps disconnecting from the charger, which is not very helpful. What way around that one? Oh, that way around that one there. Uh, that way up then. So go up, down, up, down, up, down, and keep an eye on how the, how the boards are laying on the bench. And if they're, they're influenced at all negatively, see this one actually is not a very good board. That's got a twist in it. That board here, this board here, has got a rock. We don't want to use that one. You can arm up, make sure they're not no twist in them, or make sure 
that actually they don't rock on the bench. Go on your bench is flat, obviously. This this bench is um uh, 1100 1100 about 1100 wide by two and a half meters long. I think it's two and a half meters long. Let's have a look. <laughs> Curious now. Do 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 two point three meters long. And how wide is it? Do 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 do. Yeah, it's, well, it's 107 wide, not 110. It's had a, you know, a few uh, changes in its life. Originally, it was, it was, uh, was it, it didn't have a wooden floor. And it was a just stone floor. It was a flipping nightmare. It was all lump, lumpy. Uh, so I decided to put the wooden floor down, which made a massive difference. Is this the rocky one again? That is. Look at this one here. No, that's the rocky one. How rocky is that? A little bit, not much though. What is that? Oh, that's good. It's a good board. That's it. Go on there. Okay, that is. I think I've got six boards on that one. That's not right. Just me worrying about that. Didn't need that board on there. Anyway, so that's that. Okay. <laughs> right, let's put that over here. Out of the way. Oh, dear me. So, well, there's two boards here in the middle. And we're going to rip those two down, take the the groove off. Could just turn the whole thing around and just take off the tongues on both ones, if both sides, if you wanted to. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, all right, let's mark them. That one, I'll, that one. I'm doing that arrow that way and arrow that way, and then I know in what way, which way around those boards are. Now, luckily, we don't have that filing cabinet in the way now, so we moved that. So it was on the end of this bench. <laughs> well, that was a pretty steep place to put it. It really was. So anyway, let's rip these two boards down. Take the tongues off. And that way we can bring the two shutters together. And uh, I won't make, make a stupid mistake and uh, end up um, oh, not allowing for the groove. Right, is that, is that right there? No, a bit more. There you go, I think that's about right. So look. Ooh, a bit more. I'm happy with that. Well, I can do this without a push stick to start with, so I don't need any air it. And when I apply pressure, I'm sort of pushing the wood down on the far edge, and sort of twist it, not twist it, lift it on the end here, and put applying pressure. So I'm pivoting it towards the blade, and draw up the diagonal pressure to the fence. Now at the moment my hands are in line with the blade, but they won't be in a minute. It's like I'm way back to the blade at the moment, it's not really making a difference. So at this point, when I go rock out anywhere, I'll grab the push stick with the I like these ones to job. If you want, you can use a, another pad, like one of these. And I've put little um, screws in there, that I showed you before. But I put little screws. I shouldn't leave, don't leave it like that on the saw, obviously. You get kicked back. But, um, these little screws there, and what they're doing is a little uh, passable screws, you know, bigger head screws, drywall screws, and they're pointing just through the air, uh, through the foam. The problem with these things, the foam is slippery after a while, it's dry, and it's not, you know, it's not very grippy. But I've used that as a way of holding it to the fence. But if you've got a wider board, right, and you're ripping you what holds it to the fence, don't put it on this side of the blade. It might seem a bit strange, why would you do that? Because what happens is you try and push that way towards the fence, you'll pinch the blade. But if you do it on the other side of your cut, obviously you don't have the blade totally too far up. I need to run it through there again. 
one end, right, so, so, look, don't, uh, wouldn't straight these days, one end of this timber, it's actually took all the tongue off, but you look at this end, it's still a little bit showing. So I'm gonna run it through again, or I can run it through the planer. I need a little bit more off than that. That'll do it. I've got that little arrow on there that tells me which board it is and what end to end it is supposed to be. So that goes that way. And now I've got this one, it's kind of got a clamp on it. And this one I've got to take the tongue off, not the groove. Because I think I've got to move it back a little bit. I do. I'll take the bare minimum off just in case I need that extra room on, you know, to make up the width of the shutter. Where's your riving knife? Where's your guard? Well, the only reason the saw's got a riving knife on it is because of a stupid design. So I took it off. The only reason why I hadn't got a guard on it is because it was a stupid design. So I took it off. I mean, it's, r it's ridiculous. It's so blooming big. You can't see your wood where it's cutting or anything. It just blocks all your vision. Not that it had clear plastic bits on it. They don't stay clear in plastic, you know, not all clear for long, do they? And I've always used saw without a guard on it. You just respect it that way. You see the gun thing, you think it's going to bite you. I'm not saying this is what you should do. This is how I do it. So uh, you have to make your own choices. Yeah, and the riving knife, the thing about the riving knife, most saws, when you buy a saw, the riving knife does, is not compatible with your blade. Which seems a bit silly, really. If it's not compatible with your blade, it actually makes it dangerous. Because it's a perception of false security. Your riving knife needs to be the thickness somewhere in between the, the kerf of the saw and the thickness of the actual blade itself. Otherwise, it won't do anything. It won't do diddly squat. No. So you get this perception of false security. And we use saws that I do, and uh, I've got some blades, a thin kerf, some are you know, standard curve about 3.2 mil, some there 2.7. If you're arriving, I think the right thickness, that's actually not going to work. That's it, that's good. Clamp that down there, clamp this one on here. Just hold it while it's, uh, while I put everything together. So, yeah, it's going to be, and also these cheap saws with the arriving knives on are rubbish. They're so thin and floppy, not mounted properly. The problem with that one with the arriving knife, the biggest problem, wouldn't they say the thickness of the arriving knife? It was the fact the riving knife, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't go up and down with the blade. So if you want to do a blind cut, like cut a rebate for a door frame or something on the table saw, you can't do it. Because you you've got to remove the riving knife anyway to be able to do a blind cut. That's stupid. Stupid design. So when you buy these things, actually to be fair, I bought the saw second hand years ago. And it's, um, I didn't actually realise at the time that it was an issue. <laughs> that saw's got several issues. <laughs> it's, it's a good saw in many ways, that's why I uh, still got it. But in other ways, it's um, very poor design. Okay, that goes on there like that. Tap these all up. Oh, it's like music. What's going on with this ball there? What's going on there? Not real. What's going on there? Oh, that one there, and that one there. Grab another a long clamp this time. Long one. Ouch! Oh, oh! Let me 
Remember then? Oh, crikey, I'm really struggling at the moment with my muscles. Yeah. I, I have fibromyalgia. And a flipping nightmare it is. Also, I get down hot as well sometimes. Sometimes I get a bit, suffer a bit of depression. And it's all related to this fibromyalgia. I didn't realise at the time. And that's all linked to my thyroid. That's what sort of kicked it off. So I've got um, underactive thyroid. So I take meds for that. And it's all like recent, I recently diagnosed, so it's like, oh, okay. That kind of explains it. And then you start looking into these things, what actually a fibromyalgia is and how it affects people. But crikey, that's me. I'm getting a sort of bit of anxiety. One minute I'm sort of on a high, next minute I'm on a bit of a sort of a sudden low. And it's um it's one of my things, isn't it? You know, you've just got to deal with it. I try to, so it's quite hard sometimes though. Uh, okay, they're all touching nice and true. My stop block on the end here, which is held down with these 145 um, record uh, hold downs. The records are the Wodens. Oh, no, they're marble. Sorry, they're marble hold downs. They're all pretty much the same, the same sort of design. Uh, okay, so they're all in place. We've got the tunnels ripped off at the middle here, so we know where the middle of the board is. We've also got our ledges over here, which are going to be plonked into place. So well, I was going to go live the other day, I just didn't feel up to it. I just, you know, and, and um, I do a live show on, on, on my other channels on the weekend, and I just felt so low. I didn't do it. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, tap it all up. I think that's quite good there. All right, and then I've got my uh, little fish tank. Do, 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 do. All right. What I use for my. Uh, Making sure I've got a gap between each and every single board. Uh, I've got my little T square over here that I use for setting the ledges. It's got marks on the. Uh, it's got marks on here. You see where I actually want to position the uh, the ledges. That way I get them in the right place. Do -do 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 -do. The chat went sour. What happened to the chat? Hi, oh, Alistair. I hope you're well, my friend. Oh, thanks for your um, oh, uh, super thanks every day. It's much appreciated, my friend. It really is for the doggy meds. They came yesterday, actually. <laughs> it's funny, though. Yeah, it's a wally there. No, oh, he's gone. He was he was laying down for ages, he was. Now, Caroline's gone, and he's decided, oh, I'll go in, just in case I get a treat, you see. Even though he's got treats here. Dogs always got their treats. Oh, cheers, Mad Monk, for that. I didn't see that. Yeah, Mad Monk, where were you? <laughs> Very kind of you being there, my friend. And keep an eye on things for me. You know, it is appreciated, it really is. If anyone doesn't know this already, Mad Monk's brother has got a, a channel. A Scottish channel! Like Scottish politics and stuff. Do, 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 do. Indie Truck Davy, it's called. Right, so we've got. Oh my god, she's back! Oh crikey, she nearly saw me naked. Well, <laughs> <laughs> There's only two on this one, there's short shots, aren't they? Is there two on these ones? Or is there three? Two in it? Yes. No, there one's three, wasn't it? The long one. Would I interfere with your live stream if I cut the grass? Oh, cut the grass! <laughs> all, all what? Five hectares? Uh, hectare? Hectare? Hectare of it? Yeah. So, uh, there's two and a half hectares. Well, we've got a couple of acres. What? It's two five acres, so seven hectares. It's over a hectare, isn't it? Yeah, no. Oh, no, I don't not, know. Not all of it, no. But no, two hectares. We've got two hectares, I'm sorry. No, I'm not, that's not all. I'm not cutting all of it. I'm just cutting the bits that we use. Oh, do what you don't know, I'm going to stop you. Hope you're, if you... Will I be up, will I... No! Oh, go up this is the flipping lawnmower now. Blimey! I've always got to say yes, though, because you know what she's like, always can't be speak me. <laughs> she does like cutting grass. She likes ironing for some reason, which is very strange. Why does anyone like ironing? Who irons these days? I know my kids don't. You can tell, I know, I'll tell you. Blimey. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I've got sneezes. <coughs> oh dear, sneezes. 
Lemon squeezy. Uh, what have we got there? 1320 long, this one is. So let's, I'm going to mark this at 1320. I'll do it on that edge over there, actually. It'll be easier. <clears throat> I need the mark on there so I can work out whereabouts the top ledge has got to be, or bottom ledge, or whatever way around it works out. Uh, I'll, I'll draw a line up there as well. I'll probably do a new uh, T square. This one's getting a bit worse for wear, this one's. As is actually, do you know what? It might be a good idea if I just check this for square. Uh, let me just draw a line on here, do it here, so it's not on the shutter. And if I flip it over, it's a bit annoying because it doesn't really lend itself to that. It's near as damn it. That's near as damn it. It's a little out, so it needs truing up. I might make a new one. Oh, hang on, that's the wrong mark. I looked at the wrong mark. Where's the mark? Oh, the mark's over there. Right with the clambers. Yeah, that fibre mile gear is a strange condition. It's kind of like it's, it, you, you have all these tests. Um, it's basically testing for other stuff, but see, which they think might potentially be a problem. But no, it doesn't show anything. And it, everything comes clear, you know, whether it be blood tests, whether it be scans or this that and the other and everything is okay and then when it comes down to it they come back with this uh, fiber melgier thing and it's um yeah it's blooming annoying and then you do your research on it you realize crikey that's what it is now one of my sons matthew it's got a condition called torsion dystonia and it's another one of the conditions that it's quite hard to put your finger on you know um he, basically, what happened is he started walking a bit weird, putting his toes in, and then eventually, um, well, not eventually, we went to the doctors and they, they said, Oh, it's, it's depression. I thought, What depression? He's a happy lad, what are you on about? And they put it down to the fact that, um, because Caroline's ex husband was violent and stuff like that, and says that, you know, it's affected him. This was a uh, doctor, doctor, Doc Everson. Um, Dr. Everson, Dr. Everson. Anyway, we pushed and pushed and pushed, and we did. He said, that don't sound right. And we went to uh, the Jenny Lynn Hospital in uh, Norwich, and they were brilliant. And he went down to Great Ormond Street, and they did all these tests and stuff, and they come up with this um, torsion dystonia, which is basically a part of the brain called the basal ganglia, which sends all the signals to your body to operate your muscles, electrical signals. Because what are we? Sort of electrical mechanical, aren't we? Bio or biomechanical, and it says all these electrical signals, but they're all mixed up. So he's getting spasms, and he's got generalised torsion dystonia. So it's throughout his body. So although you know he managed to get his go to college, or university, and stuff like that, and he's got he's got two degrees. You know he does struggle day to day. Yeah, you know, just the day to day tasks he finds difficult. So his pro you know his problems are a darn sight worse than what mine are. Are, but he ha obviously hasn't. I well, say obviously, he, he doesn't have the stresses of trying to earn money or trying to make a living, pay the bills. Because uh, obviously he's on disability benefits and stuff. Pet or pet pips, pips payment, personal independence payments. So, um, but it's flipping hard for him, poor lad. He gets a lot of pain. And that's kind of what I, I get a lot of pain now. <laughs> but he's had it all his life, you know. And as a parent, you know it's like you know you kind of. It's a constant worry because you don't know what it is, and it's like it could be childhood Parkinson's or something like that. You mean because the, the, the symptoms that the shakes and all that sort are very similar. But it's just one of the things, you know. You don't have to deal with it. And we were very fortunate because the school that he went to was brilliant. The primary school, because uh, it, it was about seven when he was diagnosed, and they, they were brilliant, they were brilliant. And what, actually, one of the first things we know is that he couldn't ride a bike. No matter how much we tried to teach him how to ride a bike, he just couldn't do it. He pedalled backwards. He thought, how's going on there? He just couldn't pedal forwards for some, rate, some strange, weird and wonderful reason. And it come down to it was this condition. Anyway. So, <laughs> that's what happens to casket bike when it goes off. And it's quite a hard, hard glue. It's got a bit of flexibility in it, see? It's got a lot of flex, flex in it. You know, this was several days ago, this was. So it's got plenty of flex in it, but it's actually quite hard, hard glue. And the nice thing about casket white powder is wood glue. 
is that it's you can sand it really easy unlike ppas which are very very flexible glues and you know in some ways it's a good thing other it's a bad thing so for me i like the cascomite because if you do a joint for instance like a uh, morton tenon joint the glue, the glue won't compress under any, any kind of leverage whatsoever the glue won't compress and because of that it's, uh, it makes a very strong solid joint Whereas the PVA, will, can, can, on the one that goes off, it can actually squeeze. So if your joint gets worn or loose or what have you, um, it, yeah, it can be a bit of an issue. But that's Cascomite for you. Cascomite powder resin wood glue, I really recommend it. Um, it. It did have a bit of a bad turn during the pandemic, but since it's been taken over by your glues, it is really good stuff. I, it used to be my go-to glue, and now it is again, thankfully. So let's toggle it in there. I'll have a look at the chat in a second. So let's put that in there like so. Oh no! I've got to put a mask on. Right. That's what's right now. Hold, held my breath. <laughs> yeah, you not you really should wear a mask when you mix it. You don't need when you actually well, yeah, it's just fine when it's wet and gone all gooey. You know, you put your water in and you start mixing and you don't need a mask on then. But you do when you take the powder out of the pot. It's good stuff though. Oh hello there, Alistair. Oh cheers my friend. Why is bed fun? Oh nice one. Oh excellent. Yeah, we um we ordered it, cut it's palaver this time. Normally it was really easy. And we get it from Spain. So the uh, Vetmedin is the main one he had. And also we get his diuretic with there, which is the Dimazon 40. Um, it's sort of standard sort of diuretic, because conditionally Wally's got, and Sebastian, it puts water on their lung. And um, so you, the, the Vetmedin is supposed to keep that down to a bare minimum. But if you do have a, a situation where it builds up on his lungs, you have to get rid of the water. And use dialectic for that. They pee like crazy. They went, you know, and they came what, yesterday or day before. I can't think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday they came. So we ordered them from Spain because it's the cheapest place, and um, this particular place was the cheapest place to get them from. But they gone. They changed all their website. That was a flipping nightmare. It starts in Spanish, <laughs> which is a bit helpful. Um, but also they were more stringent about the prescription because we get the prescription from the vet. You see, we have to scan it in and you know photograph it and send it over. Um, but what they, they, what they used to do is they, once you've done it once, you don't have to do it again. And now they've got this weird system where they actually you send it over. And they have to before you get the order on the website, they have to confirm your prescription. Maybe they get in trouble. I don't know. So there are obviously rules with that sort of stuff. Oh, cheers for that. Excellent. Yeah, got to keep the wallies going. And Sebastian. <laughs> Yeah, oh, do you know what? Those dogs, some of them, is, you know, they're getting all, all, old now, but they are like, let me, how do I put it? They're kind of like, uh, mine and Caroline's, um, oh, they ground you, if it makes any sense. They, they get, obviously, they're very dependent on you. Not like a cat. A cat is very independent, isn't it, you know? But the dogs, they just, they need you. I mean, they want to be with you all the time, and they, they ground you. They make, you know, they give you something to, um, Oh, you got to be not just responsible for, but they need you. They need your love, and they need your cuddles and stuff like that. And you just they just want you all the time. <laughs> Sometimes them too much, but there you go. <laughs> anyway, let's get these on. So I'll bring my uh, T square over here, so it's a mark. I'll put the mark on the T square to the end of where the shirt is going to be, and then on the middle section here, I'm going 30 mil. And I've got a little bit of wood here, which is 30 millimeters wide. Um, I could do a 60 mil thing, I don't like this, to be fair, and do both at the same time. And then from that, I can work out where it's got to go. So I get my spreader. These are going to be nailed. They're not going to be screwed. They're just nailed. Because these particular shutters will have hinges with bolts going right through the ledges. So they don't, they don't need anything more than the nails and the glue. And these are 15-gauge. Uh, 15-gauge brads. To, they're not quite 18 gauge, these are skinnier, these are thicker. Uh, 40 mil thick, I'm um, long, 18 gauge. 
So that's over there. Got my roller over here. Got to be a roller, you see. Like you do. Bring you over there. What are you over there for? <laughs> so, put these over side by side. I might as glue them all up together, really. Make it easier. Spread the glue. Provided they've mixed enough. Like that. <laughs> you can use um, PU glues for you know they work quite well for put these together as well. Oh, I just like the caster mite. I've just you know just, I've never had any comeback with it, so that's one reason to use it. And you know with like um, PVAs, if they get wet, oh, they can end up going it goes like white and it loses all its strength. And when you put the ledges on, there are braces on these shutters. But I'm just going to put the ledges on for now. Um, and I've got to do all the braces in one here. On this set of shutters. And then they can be, um, you know, the customer can be told, you can come and get your shutters. Get them out of my flipping way. And pay me my money. <laughs> so I can pay my bills. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's something happening. I don't even know this. There's an EFTA. I can't remember what it was now. There's, um... Oh, there's been a leak. There has a leak. Did you know there's been a leak? Uh, no, it didn't, because I've just told you. I haven't told you what a leak is yet, but I will do. Well, this particular leak is about batteries. Yes. And we know the European Union likes to standardise things, such as uh, your cables for your mobile phones, hence... Uh, the iPhone had to follow suit with um, USB-C. Well, I'll tell you what. The drill manufacturers, whether it be drills, and, you know, DeWalt and Makita and all them lot, they're not happy. No, uh, in this leak, it is uh, saying that, well, not this leak, it's a basic, this is what's going to happen. They want to standardise the battery. So, if you buy a drill with batteries for Makita, they want that battery to fit a DeWalt. So I, I imagine the, the battle's going to be whose battery uh, format are they going to choose? Because you've got to think about copyright, you know, uh, patent, so uh, all that sort of stuff, haven't you? So which one are they going to choose? Uh, Festool? You know? <laughs> None of these manufacturers are going to be happy about this. But it may, for the... Uh, purchase of these tools, it makes brilliant sense because you only need one uh, platform, one uh, battery platform, and you can choose whatever drill that you like. So they don't have to be the same batteries, but they need to be able to be universal and be, um, be able to fit cross platform. So you don't have to have all these different systems for, oh, you can't see, uh, systems for batteries. It just makes, um, it makes perfect sense to me. So I don't know if you heard that one. Ah, there you go. Heard from the horse's mouth. My mouth. Horse. From Scotland is Alan Stomacare. That he is. Oh, South Carolina. Crikey. Anthony from uh, Turner is from South Carolina. You can also use it for the exterior. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love my dogs. I do that. They're my little friends. They make me laugh, you know. And sometimes when I feel a bit down and what have you, they kind of they pick me up again. They're also a pain in the neck, though. <laughs> it's got to be said, but they are. <laughs> they can be right deuces. <laughs> but <laughs> they are lovely. I do love animals. I love nature. Oh, oh God, do you know what I come to the door yesterday? Oh, blimey. I live in rural France, all right? We had Jehovah's. <laughs> English Jehovah's in France as well. Yeah, not any old Jehovah's, English ones. Yeah. So, after talking to him for about 10 minutes at the gate, <sighs> they're actually really nice, to be fair. You know, I've got to warn you, I'm an atheist, I say. Because, yeah, I'm sure I am. I just I don't believe in all that. I just believe in things I can see with my own eyes. You know, everyone to their own, isn't it, you know? I haven't got a problem with religion, you know, it doesn't bother me. It's not my thing. Right, that one's going to be stuck on there like that. So here's my little uh, spacer there. 
All right, I'll release the clamp because I don't want the clamp influencing the shutter. So the clamp is just there to make sure that all the ledges and break, yeah, that all the sorry, all the tongues and the grooves go together. So um, that's all that's for. Am I going to use the nail gun? Oh, not the nail gun. Yes, the nail gun. Oh, crikey. I'll be using pocket hole screws next. No, you. Oh, bloody. I'm not a lover of pocket hole screws. Do, 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 do. The first one on there. And then grab the uh, my little fishtail wedgie thing. Chuck it in the gap. Make sure it's a one millimeter. That's what I allow per board. Next one, like so. Then again, get that gap in. That one's a tight one. In, that's it. Pin it to the right. Ooh, right. In there as well. There you go. The next one's already good. Uh, I'm happy with that one. Oh, me ear nailer. It's vicious it is. Do, 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 do. Right. So these 15 gauge rads, they're very similar to the, the 18 gauge, but just bigger. Yeah. I like them they're cost effective, you know, and you haven't got a big, a great big blooming head. Like, for instance, if I was using, say, for instance, uh, a, a boss stitch, then you get that. If I was using the boss stitch, you end up seeing all the nail heads. It's just ugly. And it's, you know, it's not critical. Um, the, uh, the ledges. Because they'll be able, they'll actually be held together. I'll put some clamps on, clamps on here as well, but the um, to hold them down on the edges to make sure they're tight glue joint. But there'll be the nuts and bolts where the hinges go right through the ledges that'll hold these all together. That's basically it. Just how it is. How we do it. You know, you could use screws. You could use clinched nails. Because we could get really old-fashioned with it. Where's my bit of wood? My space. Where it is? My space there. I'm using a spacer because uh, there's, we need enough room on the ed edge here to actually allow for the, uh, there's a rod that goes right through from top to bottom, but on the actual uh, shuttle, on the actual shuttle itself. The locking mechanism. Don't know what I'm having. Get in there, you. He's regrinding a little bit. Huh? There you go. Have to have that space in between the boards. If you don't, you potentially gonna have a bent shutter. Because wood will, even though how dry it is, it's still gonna take on moisture. As well as obviously dry it in the summer. Oh, that one's there, isn't it? I'm being silly. That one there to there, that's it. Now that one's up there. Why is that one so tight? Ah, there we go. Right. Arr, screw it on the other side. So I think it'd be pretty good if we uh, have a battery standardised. You know, I know the manufacturers are going to absolutely hate it. Yeah, but the thing is, you see, when you pick up yourself a DeWalt, a Fest tool, or any brand of tool, you know that your current um, battery collection is actually going to fit. You know, you haven't got to buy loads of new batteries. You, you just buy the bare, the bit, yeah, you know, a bare tool. I don't know when it's coming. I think it's next year. So it's 2025. Late, actually, later on this year, I think it is, actually. It's going to be coming in. But not in the UK, though, I imagine. Since we get things with bricks. But, you know, that'll end up going everywhere because at the end of the day, manufacturers are going to want to sell 
to 450 million people, aren't they? Well, potentially. There you go. I don't, I don't think everyone will be buying one. <laughs> Whatever the current market is, I suppose, for it. Yeah, for power tools. Uh, a little bit wider there. How wide is this one? This is... That's got to be 440. Oh, great. Just about right. That's good. What about the side here? Good. Excellent. They're gonna be, each shirt needs to be 44 uh, wide. And it's literally time to take, take this tongue off this side and the groove off the other side. We're on it for table saw. Um, it'll be spot on. Which is good. It's not always the case. Sometimes you've got to do a bit jiggery pokery. Sometimes you can get it on, on the actual um, joints. Other times you, you just have to. If you're really unlucky, you've got to add a bit of wood on the edge, which ends up being a thin bit of wood. And the other way I've done it in the past, so it doesn't really work very well, to be honest, is rip one down to the middle and actually widen, take it two boards and have one wide board. You can never get it together very well. And it also it never looks right. It just looks a bit shitty. Because the problem is with half the time of these, but you can't, I can't run it through the... I can't run it through the thickness there because then the boards will be thinner. So if you've got any undulations in the boards, say for instance they're not perfectly flat through the machining or I don't know, they're dried a bit more, you, you, can't, you just can't get them together very neatly. So it just looks untidy. So um, I've got to go, just got to go with it. Anyway, they're, they're shutters. It's not fine furniture, is it? I've got to do a job. So here in France, the rules are you can get dispensation, so you, you, know, you can get away with not having shutters. But generally speaking, all houses here in France have shutters. And it's security, they, they say it's just for security reasons, what have you. And if you've got shutters, you've got to use them. If you, if you leave a house more than 24 hours or something, 48 hours, they've got to be, you know, they've got to be um, closed. But, yeah, they're not just for security reasons. They're for um, keeping the heat out in the summer and the cold out in the winter. And also protects you from other wind and stuff like that. Yeah, we use ours. Yeah, uh, you know, I was just at first we didn't quite get it. You know, when we first came here first. Oh, it's because of dark. It's so dark. <laughs> You've got to shut the shut all the while. But then you realise if you don't, so blub and hot in the house. Get the clamp out of the way. Those F clamp. Right, that air nail is done with this. Yes, we've got that out of the way. Oh, come on, Mark. Put the tools away, Mark. Right. Got my nail. I might need that in a minute. Right, so we've got to cut this to length. And it can be a bit of a pain in the neck. So basically, all this is waste. Well, it's not waste, it's going to be used for something, but not on this particular shutter. This particular shutter is only 13, 20 long, the boards are 238 or 239 long. So, the, yeah, so the, <coughs> there's uh, just over a metre, 1100 waste. So it's 13, 20, that's good, which gives you 108. So I'll be using something else, but to be fair, actually, all, all the waste is going to go into my next job because there's a louver shutters, and a lot of those shutters have got little tiny little strips of wood. So um, for the louvers, they're quite complicated. We'll be, we'll be doing them live as well, probably. But they're quite complicated to make. Let me just double check my battery on the phone. I'll try, oh, half charged. Doing quite well, actually. I might just grab this battery here. And where is the charge lead? Right, that one or that one? That one's that one. This one or that one or that one? This one. Not that one. Uh, oh, out that one. Let's try that. All right. See whether or not we can keep that charged up. See if it works this time. It doesn't always work. So there's a. I know you can't see it, but on this adapter at the bottom here, there's a, like, a pass through. And the phone. And currently, it's not saying it's charging. Oh, dear me. Oh, 
Google Pixel 6. And um, that was my son's. It's my um, OnePlus. Plus 7 and OnePlus 6. Very good phones, OnePlus are. Uh, South East of the UK. Are you talking about me? <laughs> are you talking about Kent? Oh, cheers, Thomas. Uh, Oh, yeah, Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, oh, sorry, I talked about the Jehovah's Witnesses as well. Yeah, yeah. English Jehovah's Witnesses who want to speak to English people here in France and they happen to knock on my door. So obviously somebody told them that we're English. <laughs> obviously, how else were they going to know? We don't have a big size. We're English. No. The cars are French. Uh, French I'll go to wait and dry. They wouldn't have seen that, though, because it's out of the way. Uh, the camp is French. So, yeah, anyway, they're talking about stuff and... Um, She's talk, talk, talking about environment and stuff like that, which that, for me, uh, oh, okay, I don't mind talking about that. I've got, I've got my um, beliefs regarding that and my concerns, so I'll talk about that. I did not have a problem. I said, they'd be fair to them, they were very nice, you know, that's what they have to be, really. It must be hard though, you know, they must get knocked, something knockbacks from people, or people take the mick at them. But you know, the thing is, they, they didn't actually say that they were Jehovah's when they turn up. They just, um, just went, you know, tried to, you know, English people in the area and just, if they want, you know, to talk about stuff, trouble, what's worrying them and stuff like that. So I thought, okay, so just chatting at the gate. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to invite them in because that, that, that got crikey. That, that might be too much. <laughs> that would be for me. <laughs> but yeah, it was, um, they were very nice to be fair. Yes, people won't believe that. So it's them and that. But you know, so, um, anyway, we'll talk about the environment and that as well, which for me, I kind of, I'm very concerned about the environment and what's going on with that. And um, other things that worry me, you know, I was saying to him, I made a video the other day about, about the pocket hole jigs and stuff like that. Why do I hate the pocket hole jig? And uh, it's basically is because I I what worries me is that skills and, you know, trades are being slowly depleted. Like they're going to disappear. There's only going to be people who are interested or want to actually learn new things or do, you know. But most youngsters, like for instance, people watch this channel. Most of my people watching this channel, according to my demographics, are over 50. So I don't have much of a young audience. So that, that's a, I think that's a bit of an issue. I don't know how, you know, I don't know how I can do, do you know, what I can do about that. But I want to get young people, I'd like to, I'd like young people to start seeing the, the, um, the benefits of creating something making something, do you know what I mean? Not just about playing the computer games and what have you. I haven't got to about all my computer games either, but you know, I don't play computer games, I've got no interest in them. Uh, but yeah, but just, to, there's something nice about making things. It gives you a bit of a dopamine hit, you know? You know, you, oh, I made that. I created that, you know? Okay, this shuttle work here is very basic, you know, and stuff. It's just, it's just work, you know? I know I can make money at it, you know, quickly. Easily, um, but it's nice you know, if, say for instance, you want to cut a joint or something out on a piece of furniture or, or, or finding solutions to problems. You know, when you get that, if you find that solution and you do it, whatever, you just it just feels good, it's just nice. Move that one out of the way a little bit. Now, what it, it does, yeah, as I was saying, it actually worries me that all this, that sort of stuff, creative stuff, seems to be taking the back burner and not seem so. Um, oh, let's put a bit of that for them. 
lot of youngsters don't want to know that sort of thing. It's just it's a shame. Right, I'm using my sledge. Last board you have to hold it, otherwise well, you'll split the edge of your shutter. <laughs> I hold it, but then I kind of pull it away from the blade a little bit, get yeah, like pressure away from the blade at the same time. And what this slate basically is, it's just like a, a track really, and it's just, so I haven't got a first tool or any um, plunge saw. Oh, quite a nice thing to have, but you know, I ain't got one. So I made this out of a piece of laminate flooring. <laughs> And in fact, it's got two fences, not one, but two. That keeps the saw, so it's made for that particular little saw. Hence, I haven't replaced it yet. It needs, I need a new saw, really. Um, and then it just stays on, on track. <laughs> and you create a really smooth uh, cut. It's a nice thing about it, really. I wouldn't mind getting a punch saw, though. Decent. I, I wouldn't mind get a, um, one of them budget ones. You know, Shipak make one, or, you know, they don't make it anyway, but you know, one of those budget brands, because it's not going to do its job, is it? Not what I want it to do anyway. But I'm going to get, you know, otherwise I've got to stick with what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing. It works anyway. So there's probably no need. Right, so this particular shutter here is, well, down the part from the, there's the brace that go on. I'm just going to put a clamp on each corner on the edge, edge of the shutter. While the glues are still, you know, there, or you know, hadn't gone off fully yet. These are regular ones. Like so, I don't want to squeeze it up too tight, just enough to make sure it's, it's going it's to, you know, adhere. You can also have a press, really, wouldn't it? Just so, so you can press the, the ledges down while you're actually. Uh, glue them and nail them into place. I need to make something really, if we're getting more of this sort of work coming. I come up with something. Long reach clamps would be good, but they need to be, what, have a, have a reach of at least, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches, you know, 200, 250 mil. Right, so those there, that one there, can now be Put to one side, I'll take it through to the other room in a minute. I'm not going to rip it to width yet. Uh, I don't want all the glue to go off if I move it back too much. Let's do this one. Oh boy, giddy what am I doing over here? Put all these bits of wood in the way. Oh, throw off. No, oh, what's that? <laughs> Just knock a little sign off. <laughs> Let's bring this over here. Huh? Be careful, you don't want to end up um, uh, what's it called? pushing the actual shutter out of the square. It shouldn't do because it's got all the nails in now, so it should be fine. I think so. Battery, um, I used to have a little Makita, not Makita, um, Atachi uh, battery skill saw, and it was uh, about 40, 44 mil cut, but so compact to be ideal for this job. I think got a 12 volt one, really good it was. It was 44 mil cut, yeah, it was 44 four mil cut, I believe. Um, I used to do uh, cut, rip down um, fire doors, with solid pine fire doors. Really good little saw, unfortunately. The motor packed up in it. Common fault with them. Probably still got it here somewhere.
the worst thing here is, when I'm cutting with this saw, is that because all these other ones have got the tongue and grooves hold it together, it's trying to influence, as the cutter's going through, the wood's trying to fall away, but it's hold on to the next piece of wood. So you've got one, this part here, it's like trying to like break away, but it can't quite, and it, kind of, it can rack onto the, um, onto the blade. So you've got to bear that in mind. And that last cut, you know, it's, um, the thing is, it's in the, when it's in the track, you've got to worry too much about kickback. You don't tend to kick back because the blades are held straight. So you can get away with holding it with one hand, otherwise I'd never suggest holding the steel saw with one hand. I know a lot of people do, especially our worm drive. You shouldn't. If you hold it with one hand, you've got one hand that can cut. If you get severe kickback. Which isn't a great idea. No, because it hurts. Big chunks with circular saws are not recoverable. You can't let sew it back on. <laughs> no. It will be all chewed and nasty. You don't want that? No. Alright, four, four inch. Oh my god, I'm dropping everything. Alright. So we go, let's plonk these on it. And these can go through next door. And the next shirt, which I'll probably do tomorrow now, I think. I don't know, it's time now. It's four o'clock. Yeah, that's sort of pocket screws in. The, in. the pocket screws itself have a problem. I just have a problem with them being used for everything. And when I see people do these projects online and what have you, and I think, oh my God, it looks like a bloom colander. Just so many flipping holes. And draw boxes. I don't, I don't understand why anyone would want to do a draw box that way. Kitchen carcasses, maybe, you know, I, I see the merit in them. Yeah, for that, we'll get a longer clamp on that one. He's squeezing up a bit more. Oh, that's like deeper throat. I need some long reach clamps. I've got these little ones down at the bottom here. No longer than that, they're not that long, are they? They're no longer than these, really. No. Well, if I could do some long reach, I might have to make some. So, obviously, that board there isn't. Uh, marrying up with the actual ledge very well. So I'll bring it over here a little bit. Let's see if we can get that on the clamp. Oh, yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, that's there. Good. No, I'll do the same on that one. What about it? You can get wooden uh, clamps that are fairly long reach. You can't get a lot of pressure with them, though. Oh, that one went over that side. Oh, these are a bit, actually, these are quite long. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. Right, that one's together. Check a face. Looks good. What's this one like? That's good. Let's put that over there. Oh, I just noticed a little splinter on this one. Just put a little bit of glue on there. And just put, put, uh, what's happened? Oh, got caught up. Put a little bit of glue on that. And a spring clamp. What's happened is, it's, as the earth trimmed the end off, it splintered um, the end of the end of the board. Just a tiny little bit. But do it, you know, if you do it straight away, you know, it'll be the wiser. I'll be for this, to be honest. Right, I'll put a little clamp on that. Your spring, spring clamp will do. And that'll be fine. There you go. Did he, did he, did he. You got to nip it in the bud, you know. Like, yeah. So, tain it through, yeah. I'm going to get caught up into stuff now. Blimey, don't fall down the steps. No, don't do it. Right, that one goes with that one. Over here. I'll just think if I could get that camera. It'd be so cool. It's follow me. 
mount it in the middle here. So it can like follow me wherever I go. <laughs> oh, that's one here. I've got to put the ledges on. I'll do that when I get the clamps off. And I've got to prepare a load of wood up for the ledges. Not ledges, the braces, sorry. Oh, the diagonal bits, like the Z frame. Not a zipper frame. Not just yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. bring your ears. Where's my chair? Let's plonk myself down. Where's my drink? Did I have a drink? I've got some water over there, but I probably haven't got a cup anymore. Karen takes my cup away. I've got to blame Caroline. She's not here. She's cutting grass, she is. Right, let's. Is that actually showing? No. I'll have to just plug the battery because it's not doing anything. Show cow, she's cutting grass. So th there's me, I go around on this thing. <laughs> and then she goes, she has to push one. <laughs> so it's quite nice at the moment, you see. It's sunny today, you know. And I don't know if you realise this, we power our workshop, but we're about 70% efficient on solar. We've got two bags of solar. That was that one and another one. It's at an angle, if you can see it. It's just about anyway. That's how we power our, our home. Um, but we are also connected to the, the grid as well. Because uh, on its own it won't be enough. So it's, I get peaks of power that I use because the machines you see. Once I start they're okay, but you missed a bit! Oh, I've got so much work to do around here. And we keep picking up wood, you know, just pallet wood like that, you know, see what we can do with pallet wood. And uh, all that lot over there, we picked up the other day. And we're going to sort out in the garden bits and pieces to see if we can make use of it somewhere. So I don't like waste. Let's get burnt up, boys. Ah, let's have a say the chat. Do 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 do. Hello, Rambal, Rambal Gaming. Hey, Wally, good to see you. See, good to see you too. And when the two Davies start their show tomorrow, remember to put a comment in the chat so they can give you a spanner. <laughs> uh, they're not ready. There we go. Hello, Rockers. Yeah, she's on the lawnmower, that she is. She, she does like cutting grass for some reason. She's a strange one. You know, I get a bit bored with it because there's so much of her. I've got to do all the bog areas. And it's got really, it's got difficult though because we put all these trees in. And I've got to whiz around all the trees. Lucky it's a zero turn, so I can, you can spin on the sixpence with that thing. And it's, um, but yeah, it takes ages. So much grass cutting. And it seems like as soon as you cut the following day, it all pops up again. Not because it ain't been cut, because it's just grown like crazy and it's had all that rain. And you get a day like this, you know, it's sunny, it grows like mad. Uh, the EU laws will still affect the UK, even though the UK has left the EU. Yeah, because they're going to want to trade, aren't they? And also, these particular laws are going to be, um, uh, they're not going to do something special just for the UK, are they? There's, too, there's not enough people, not enough, the, the market's not big enough. And clearly, it will also affect the United States as well. The you know, United States do follow a lot of the laws because anyway, they, want, they want to trade with the EU. You know, say, uh, say, we say the EU, don't we? We say EU. Well, the countries within the EU, you know, it's, it's not a, a singularity, is it? It's a, it's a democracy, actually. But there you go, let's not get into that one. <laughs> uh, Switzerland! Hello from bloody Switzerland! Oh, crikey, hello from S in Switzerland. You're not in Switzerland, you're paying the neck to the EU, apparently. <laughs> Keep what renegotiate stuff. <laughs> I don't blame you. There you go. Uh, I will call David to ensure that he gives you a spanner. You, you, you do it. Give, give Alastair a spanner. He deserves a spanner. We call him a spanner. <laughs> oh, dear. You have a spanner here if you want, my friend. Known you long enough now. I trust you. Anyway, after all, I, I, I trust Mad Monk. Crikey. Mad. 
<laughs> what, what's it going to be? I don't know, all the Spanners will be like uh, a, a Scottish majority. <laughs> Even though I'm Norfolk. <laughs> uh. The land of the somewhat free. Yeah, they call it the land of the free. What does that really mean, though? Hmm? Australia is the land of convicts. <laughs> Uh, no, you've got, you've got, we, we, should, we should call uh, the United States the land of the migrants. <laughs> uh. Yeah, good to see you, Rainbow. Living in France. Get yeah, one charger. Yep. One battery. And you cost across your 20 tools. <laughs> Well, if you flip that, I'll, I'll get, I'll, let me just show you what I have, what I've, I deal with, you know. In my cabinet on the end, that's my little charging bay in, inside this cabinet here, right? And I've got my little rack at the top there. And these are ones I've generally used in the workshop. But you see, look, you can have that lot. <laughs> It'd just be one charger. Oh, wouldn't that make sense? Blimey. Let's say, for instance, there's a particular tool that you prefer than another one, you know. And uh, you might have to buy, you know, you, you still got your five amp batteries and that from your Makitas, and you've got this really not, I don't know, Mil Mil um, Milwaukee or something you want. Because it's got lots of torque or something. But you don't have to have a complete new system. It just makes sense. Yeah, for, for the consumer, it makes sense. It doesn't for them, because obviously they want to keep charging more money for more batteries. So, but the thing is, how many batteries, if you're, I don't know, let's argue and say, let's say, for instance, a drill bus. Not the battery, but the drill. But you've got this battery. You know, I mean, you're going to buy a new drill. But you still have a drill. And then, I don't know, maybe it's cheaper or something, or maybe, maybe it suits you, you know, what you want more, or maybe the skill saw or something like that. And you buy that instead. You've got a battery you can't use. It's a dud, effectively, unless you can sell it to someone else who's got the same drill. Or whatever, you know. It's just, everything becomes surplus to requirements, doesn't it? And it just ends up, it's just waste. Hello, my Sebastian. Oh, hello, my little bear. There's a Sebastian bear. I wonder what he wants. Sebastian, have you come to see Daddy because you want a treat? Is that what you come to see? Yeah. Oh, you got a beg, are you? Is that what you got to do? Beg, beg. Can you beg? Are you shaking? Now? Do, 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 yeah, I know. Shall I get you a treat? Yeah. I know. I know. I know. Boy, Sebastian bear. Let's get you a treat. Let me just go and get him a treat. Oh, over here, my fat. Not that way. Where are you going? They're over here! You silly dog. Alright. What one do you want? Which one? Do you want, uh, I don't know, what's that, like a fig roll? <laughs> do you want a fig roll? Okay, you want that one, okay, that'll do. Uh, so what he does, he puts it in the mouth, he drops it on the floor, then eats it off the floor. Makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, I have a bit of sawdust with that, why not? Can you see that big box? In there is my new laser, which I still have not unboxed yet. It's got a laser and it's got, oh, no, it's got some other stuff in there as well. And that will be <laughs> coming in here eventually into my laser room, <laughs> which is it. So it's going to be sitting in the corner once it's all done. Eventually. <sighs> Maybe this weekend, I don't know if I get it finished. I need to get some leveling compound for this floor because all that's concrete there. Yeah, it's really a really hard mix, and the surface has gone a bit powdery, I think, because I did it quite wet, which would have done no good whatsoever. So we're just going to put some leveling compound on that. Um, and then once that's all dry, I mean, say that and put the carpet down. Yeah, I've got a carpet going in there. I've already got it, so it's one that was we had wrapped, rolled up somewhere. So he's a lovely boy, Sebastian. Oh, Joe Lefty Bo, uh, hello, my friend. Hope you're well. Been here for the fire. You've been lurking, have you? You've been lurking. You're a lurker. <gasps> <I'm dead. laughs> Hope you're well, my friend. Uh, yeah, this is this. We see what can you remember the first video of me and Caroline's clearing out in that workshop next door? Oh my god, <laughs> it was such a mess. <laughs> and I can't use uh, what we bought to actually do that. We bought four sheets of plasterboard um, to do the wall and the ceiling. Is it four sheets? Four, five sheets. 
not much anyway, we have a few sheets of plasterboard. And that's um, seven euros a sheet here uh, at the moment. So we did that. Uh, I didn't buy any stud, I just used stuff I got kicking about in. Done the noggins with bits of pallet, <laughs> you know. I, I found a beam in the garden, which I've, I put in the, in the, on the mezzanine seed, and because so, we've loaded it up with stuff, you see, so I had to strengthen that. Uh, so we plastered plastic the board and all that, insulated all, and the insulation actually that we took down from the old, where we took the mezzanine out of the be what, front bedroom, and we created a mezzanine in there, so we took half the ceiling out, which was insulated. So we removed all that, and that's now gone into the ceiling in that room. Um, oh, so it's four, a bag, oh, a bag of plaster, that's all it needed, I thought it was going to need two, but it hasn't even used one. Um, what else we get? Think about oh, we have the cement powder and bags of sharp sand for the screed. Uh, I think all in all, it's probably cost me about 50 euros or something like that 50 60 euros, but isn't a lot. And uh, so there's two chips there, they considered what it was in there, and it's come together quite nicely, you know. And there's uh, all the paint and stuff like that stuff I have kicking about here, you know, mix it up, <laughs> that'll do. And I just want grey anyway, you see, because grey is one of the best colours to have in a studio really in many ways because the camera can cope with it better because you know effectively you know I'm, I've got a degree in photography and it's um the one thing we I used to use a lot was a thing called a grey card to set your colour balance so um yeah so basically if you use a sort of mid grey colour you can quite easily balance your colours out for, you, for your camera it makes it so much easier so that's what we've done in there so I kept it with just the greys greys and blacks and stuff keep it simple and I'll add the stuff anyway, so it just made sense. Yeah, okay, it's come along, it's come along. Hello, Mr. Skaboon. Hope you're well. Uh, or Mrs. Mrs. I can't see it, but it's too small. Mrs. Mrs. Spoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bear, boy Sebastian Bear. He's a lovely, lovely dog, he is. Oh my god, you have an accent. I do a little bit. I don't know what I don't I don't have an accent? No. What do you mean? Oh, how <laughs> I'm Norfolk, mate. Yeah, I'm from Norfolk. My accent has actually got stronger. My voice used to be high, and now it's gone really sort of horsey, and it's still a thyroid. My, um, uh, although my le thyroid levels are okay at the moment because of the medication I'm on, but it's caused damage to my vocal cords. And if anyone watched some of my early, early videos, you probably know it's the difference compared to now. My voice is so much hot, it's just really coarse now raspy and um yeah and it's partly because of youtube as well it's constantly talking that hasn't really done me any favors really oh my god you have an accent oh that i do i i also talk funny apparently mad monk what did you miss my ears got hot two minutes ago uh and the live buffered oh buffered did it oh sorry <laughs> My ears got hot. Oh, my God. Oh, crikey. You got hot ears. Someone talking about you. Maybe. Oh, we're all talking about you, you know. It's nice to see people here. Yeah, so I didn't do a live the other day on the Sunday. I just, uh, I was struggling. I was very struggling. I'm not feeling too good. Uh, do, 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 do. Scrolling down. Something what have I missed? Spanner. Oh, Alice Tom Care, you heard about that too, did you? But yeah, what type of battery are they going to go for? This is this is going to be the complex thing because obviously there's painting on these thing, on these tools. Which painting is going to get all the sales? Which manufacturer is going to get all the sales? Which brand? Yeah, is it going to be I don't know, the standardised the Makita battery, the Dewalt battery, the Festool battery? Is that, which one's going to be the standard? Which is going to win that game? Is it going to be the one? Are they going to look at and say, okay, then which manufacturer has had the most sales? Is it going to be Parkside? <laughs> it's going to be Lidl's. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> They're going to have the the dominance in the market for the batteries. Yeah, they're all going to be turned to. Uh, Lidl's batteries. <laughs> oh, they probably sell more, to be honest. 
Yeah, how would you make that choice? You saw my bear? Yeah, you saw the bear. He's a lovely boy. I miss Squeaky Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really bug my. Oh, yeah. And also, I put. I have, oh, where is it? I have some stuff I have to. T I take because I. Oh, so yeah, where is it? Where they go? I got some. I have to clear my, my passages. I've got my netty bottle for me, I've got dirty, but I've got another, another spray bottle thing around there. Around there. And it's for, um, because I produce too much mucus. Too much mucus, I do. Where'd it go? I can't see it. Was it earlier? Oh, here it is. This stuff. <laughs> to snort it, you do. Marcus, need to get an idea for my gate from your trade experience professional. What do you want for your gate? Yeah. What kind of gate do you want? Do you want, I don't know, just legend brace gate? Do you want a framed gate? Do you want a colonial style gate? Do you want a Victorian gate? What, what is your fancy? Do you want to be modern or traditional? If you want a five bar gate, farm gate. Uh, the batteries are very similar, just uh, the connection and where the live and negatives are on them. But also the, um, let me show you something, Let's back in a second. Right, uh, the charging circuits are an issue as well. For instance, if I grab that battery and I grab this battery. Okay, I have two batteries in my hands, I'm coming back. All right, these two batteries, Okay, this one is a Parkside, okay. I bought it because it actually, if you remove these two little ribs here, that one there and that one there, it's exactly the same as my Triton battery for my Triton drills, okay. They, they just fit straight in. But I have to use a Parkside charger for the Parkside battery. This one has an extra contact. It won't charge in the Triton a battery charger and the Triton won't charge in the Parkside battery charger although they're pretty much exactly the same shape batteries so that's where one of the issues could be to be on the charge circuit so everything wants to be standardized somehow <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why no. so I was contemplating actually just taking the uh, uh, until I got a Parkside charger which is okay actually I'll, I'll take the cells out of that and then put into the old back, or old one of these. That's what I was going to do. But yeah, it's just, it's, 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 it's a bit nutty really, isn't it? You know, it, it's quite, it'd be quite good to standardise these things. I think so. Oh, what, uh, what you were building your door for the barn earlier? Well, that is a Vole uh, lamb board here in France. If I show you close up, you'll see. You do, here is one, and here is another. So basically, it's a tongue and groove board. And uh, these are, we can't get them in the UK, but these are very common here in France. And the boot about them is they've got a shallow tongue and groove. You could use floorboard if you like, you know. Um, but it's got a shallow tongue groove, you can see there, yeah? The beauty about that is it can actually move, it doesn't grip too tightly, and they can uh, expand the contract without any resistance. So it kind of makes sense. And that's what we use here for the, you know, things like that. So, yeah. Um, I don't think you can get these in, in the UK. I haven't seen them in the UK, to be fair. But you could use, you could use, um, Sort of reasonable quality floorboard and just just be wary when you get anything like floorboard and it, because it tends to have get out of the pack if you get it out of the pack for instance it, likelihood like these they're not going to be flat they'll be bent you know um you'll be you will have one in one in five if you're lucky that is true so you just got to do what i do I, t I tend to just um compensate by have one go one way and then one go the other way and then they, they neutral neutralize each other and it works. I've been doing that for ages. Otherwise, you just you just have so much flip and waste, and the shutters have to be like you know, I don't know three or four times more expensive just because of the material loss. 
Lego, yes, make me a Lego. <laughs> Blimey, what's that Dutch? Is that, is that, is that, is Lego Dutch? I think it's Dutch, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. that's tug with boards, pretty much, with the arrow scarf, but you can do this with... I have actually made shutters here when we first came home. Um, make shots out of floor, but just basically floorboards, um, just tongue group boards, but it's way better. As, and it's a northern fur, so it's basically a pine in one, it's a safe fur, but it's not, it's a, it's a pine of one description or another. It's not Douglas, so I'm not sure which one it is. It's a larch, I imagine. A gold star, oh Christ. Michelin? Michelin what? <laughs> Just roll it up and look. I was thinking the floorboards, Marcus, but um, the same style. Just don't know the bracing of it, Marcus. Oh. Yep, warped one. Yep. <laughs> um, the bracing. Okay, how can I explain? I'll tell you what, I'll explain this to you. How we do the bracing. If you're talking about a legend, legend brace style uh, door, if I grab my little wally brass sign over here, which is actually a shutter, I'll be there in a second just to grab that. So to explain. It is a wally brass sign, okay, which happens to be a shutter that I made. All right. That, how does this work? All right. We have this Z frame arrangement here. These are the basic ledges, and this is the brace. Now, to ask yourself, if you install in this shutter, this is going to be the inside of the shutter, and that's the outside of the shutter, facing outwards when the shutter is closed. You have to ask yourself, where, uh, what side do you hang the, the shutter on? Do you hang it on this side? No. Because what if that's the top of the shutter and that's the bottom of the shutter, you'd want the, the brace, this piece here, going in the opposite direction. And the reason for that is the weight of the shutter itself is going to try and the, lo yeah, the load is going to, if you hung it on this side, would be coming down here. So this shutter, or gate for your, in your instance, would need to be hung on this side. So where your hinges go on this side of the actual gate. Now... This brace here, since the load is coming down this side, this brace here is going to transfer that load along this brace to a fixed point, generally near your bottom hinge. Now, there's various ways of doing this. You can do it so you can notch this into the bottom rail. I've actually got, um, uh, in this case, this would, yeah, this is a little domino in there. There's a joint there. You don't have to do that, but I tend to do that. It's just, it's just better. And it creates a stop, so it can't slide that way. But generally speaking, just three fixings in there, that's, that's enough, and that, that braces the whole shutter. So the load here gets transferred down that brace to a fixed po um, point. So, now you could say, why don't you put the uh, hinges on this side? Well, it's not going to a fixed point, but it will. It shouldn't sag. Um, this is going to behave as a hanger, not as a brace, if it makes any sense. Basically, this will be holding up the shutter if you have it the wrong way round instead of creating that brace which is which is like being wedged in to the bottom corner so if it's hung on this side it'd be stronger than if it's hung on that side so there you go look clear as mud <laughs> oh there they oh sun's gone in though there you go ah bring it back yeah that's it that's it yeah that's just um it's simple as long as, as long as you stick with the basics and just think where that brace is pointing. You know, whether you've got, um, if it's a low gate, you might only have two ledges. If it's a tall gate or, you know, a door or whatever, you would have three, three ledges. But the rail, there's two ways of doing the um, braces. You have to do what you call a through brace, like I've done on the um, barn doors. So the brace is in line, the top brace, through the, the middle ledge to the bottom uh, ledge. All you can do is... Uh, a Z, so you've got like two Zs that are staggered. So um, that's the other way of doing it. So um, it's really up to you, really. Um, it's quite simple. The only thing I would say is don't glue together the boards. 
that's a big mistake. They must be able to move. And if you are going to be gluing like I, I do, make sure that each individual board has got space to move. Because if you don't do that, it will, well, you see this, I haven't on this one, this was just a display piece, right? But you see on there, there's no gap in between the boards, apart from this, um, the, ar the arras has been taken off. Uh, the, there needs to be a, a gap there, because there's times when there's moisture in the air, that gap will close up, and there's times in the summer that gap is going to open up, because, you know, just wood, wood moves. So um, this is inside all the time, so it doesn't have that issue. That was never built for exterior use, it's just, just for demonstration purposes. Me and the weather have fallen out, yes. Actually, today is a lovely day. Yeah, it's sunny. Uh, Caroline's cutting the grass. Looks like I'm going to have to do the same. Um, but today is a nice day, but we've had so much blooming rain. We've had a lot of wind. And now, we've got, since we had all this flipping wind, we've got roof tiles that slipped. And we've got leaks in the flipping roof now, so that means I've got to go up on the roof and push all the tiles back, because these are the old Romney tiles. On this part um, of, the, of the barn and the workshop, they're, they're mechanics, but on that part of the main house, what have you, they're the old Romany tiles, and oh, they need to be changed. We're not going to afford it, but they need to be changed. No, you're welcome, no, Storm, which, which, yeah, more mum. Got any questions, just ask me. Um, send me a message or something by the website, you know, I'll, I'll be, I will respond. So, anyway. Okay, what's... Uh, Oh, lefty boat. Joe, lefty boat. Okay, what's your thoughts on Inel and KWB uh, tools? I'm not keen on them. The same with that, like Ryobi and mates like that. I'm not keen on. But, um, to me, they, they are domestic tools, but I've got a few domestic tools that I use, you know. Uh, if, I, if, I was gonna, in the, if I was in the UK and going to be buying something that is semi-domestic, sort of semi so not professional grade on cost-effective tools. I'd go for like screw fixes, a borer or something like that. They're generally quite tough. Um, a bit cumbersome, a bit heavy, but generally quite good tools. Um, but iron ore, oh, they're, they're, they're the red, sort of dark red and silver colour, aren't they? Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a lover of them. I haven't got any, but I know people who have because um, that, that's, the iron ore brand is, is on sale here in a place called Robert's and Um I If you can stick with the main brands like the Key uh, um, Black and Deckers, you know, the, the normal brands and the Koki, which is what you'd be the Tarchi brand, stuff like that, you ain't going to go far wrong. Now, I, I used to always have the Tarchi drills, and um, apart from bits of rubbery things falling off and was stupid but anyway um they're, they're pretty good and they're tough of course of course if you, but if you can afford festival go for festival or even milwaukee no they're very good betty kershaw hello there hope you're well and paul big now hi mr and mrs larkin yeah she's out cutting grass at the minute she was in there earlier though she was so. but i am going to call it it now i need to go and cut some grass as well i reckon and i can't do that while live streaming no likelihood that was happening. I'll probably drop the phone. Oh, I'll drop it. It needs connection anyway. But I'll probably drop the phone and ride over the lawnmower. I don't want to do that. So I'd like to thank you for joining us um, today. Uh, while we're clearing the workshop up and made a shutter as well. So we've done something practical as well as a uh, little squit. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and thanks to um, Alistair Arm and um, uh, Richard uh, Black. Oh, and oh, uh, Mad Monk. For moderating, he's got a spanner, you see. So, anyway, it's time for me to go. I'm gonna to say toodaloo, you know. So, thanks for watching. And toodaloo, yes, toodaloo, <laughs> not toodaloo, toodaloo. Okay, all right, toodaloo. <laughs> <laughs>